Hello! How's it going, everybody? Sorry I'm late. I have great reason. I was doing my hair. That's about the only reason there. You're not sorry? No, I'm not. I don't give a shit. Come on. You, the goddamn Europeans are bitching at me. I'm giving them two European streams in a row. All of a sudden, I'm late by what? 50 minutes? Like, seriously? That's, that's what we call late these days? <laughs> Back in my day... I got a meeting in 20 minutes now, too. I'm live for six hours. Where's the second place poker champion? That's an oxymoron. In its own right. Anyway, how's it going, boys? Welcome back to the stream today. We have the trial of John Depp in An Ambrose Herd. Ambrosia Herd. Oh, what's on the docket? I mean, honestly, we really only have a few things to do today. We got to watch the trial, which is honestly, it might be a bit not that hype today because um, I don't even know who this guy is. Yeah, I believe her name is uh, Shana. And, and so she told you she heard a lot of noise. But they got a recording from January 22nd they're going through. Does anyone know who this is? It's not Ms. Kiff. Don't lie. But we're going to go through. Hopefully they have some cool in-person people in the afternoon. Some interesting story scoops. Uh, but they're going to hit lunch break in, I think, 20 minutes or so. And, uh, and at that point... We are going to be playing against Northern Lion in GeoGuessr 1v1, which is something I'm pretty excited about because I've been fiending. I don't know if anyone's getting those TikToks on your For You page. This is me challenge, uh, challenging America's number one Google Maps player. I think it's Brazil. Probably Sweden. A little closer. Uh, seems like the Dominican Republic. Okay, we got a few points there. We could win this. You seen that guy? I love those TikToks. And he's been grinding. <sighs> Me and my buddy are making our way uh, to California for your event. Any recommendations on food to eat in LA? You know what? That's not a bad idea. Maybe I should make a list of things and then tweet it out for people who are coming to L.A. That's a decent idea, man. Anyway, I'll pull this up. I'll pull this up while I get myself all adjusted. So far, it's static. Oh, we got security camera footage. Oh, I love security camera footage. Oh, sh oh, shit. Pause. Pause. Whoa, it's a man. And, uh, and three men. Humana, 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 humana. They look like they just robbed a bank and they're changing for their getaway car. What the hell did they just get into? Yeah, 
Yeah, it looks like a heist. <laughs> GTA 5 inch, GTA 6 intro. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard really is just, uh, who are the GTA 5 characters? The main character and, and his wife, Michael DeSanta. It shows the date and time stamp near the bottom. Do you recognize this as the elevator at ECB building? No, sir. Mr. Romero, you're nodding. Is this the video that you remember looking at after Shauna told you that she heard the noise that night? That's correct. He's got three rings on today instead of two. Interesting. Inter stacked another ring on the right hand. Looks a little Depp. sharper, too. All right. Do you recognize the other two men in the elevator? I recognize uh, the guy in front of the elevator button. That's his uh, personal bodyguard. The other guy, uh, I've seen him before, but uh, I never interact with him. How famous do you have to be for a it's personal like bodyguard? I don't remember. You said he looked agile. Yeah, he looks agitated. Like he was walking back and forward. He took his jacket, his body language is there. It was uh, different. Of, uh, Don't just say you're not. Most of the time, he's really calm. I'm asking a question. He's like really happy person. <laughs> yeah, like this is the first time I saw him like that. And then you go to the next. So then you say Wednesday. Can we time travel? Let's do it. At a Future. Of the lobby, the lobby, accompanied by Ms. Raquel Kenny. That's the person you called Rocky earlier. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And you said if Ms. Bird approached, can't meddle too much with time. For the key to her unit, which you gave. And you said we did not discuss anything else at that time. Correct. And Ms. Hurd stood approximately three feet away from you. I did not notice any bruises, cuts, swelling, red marks, or any other injuries of any kind on Ms. Hurd's face. Do you see that? Correct. Okay. But you weren't looking for bruises, cuts, swelling, red marks, or any other injuries on Ms. Hurd's face that night, were you? Does anyone look for bruises? I was not looking for any marks or bruises or anything. Uh, but it's something like that it will be really noticeable. But I guess, you know, I was not looking. I was more focusing on what my job duties was. Like getting the key, and also this. I gave him the key, and they were talking about. I told her, you know what, your dog. I was talking with Raquel because her dog got out of her unit, and that was one of, one of my concerns. I was told, you know what, I saw your dog was outside. He didn't want me to get get too close to it, so it's still out there. You know, on the penthouse area, that dog will be fine because it's not like I said. It's, always really quiet and Mr. Depp owns everything up there so it'll be fine so that was one of my concerns that was my job and I was just taking care of that I was not trying to say oh let me see your face no fucking out best so that's where I'm gonna follow up do you remember what Miss Heard was wearing that night no do you remember whether she was dressed up no do you remember where she was coming from that she was coming home at 10.30? Interesting. You don't remember what she was wearing, but you remember she no, didn't I have bruises. Remember. They didn't mention to me. She was actually, she was on the phone. She was with Raquel in front of me. We were talking about it, and then she left to the lobby where she was still on the phone. So I, was focusing, I was focusing more on Raquel because she, they want, I was telling about her dog. Okay. Do you remember what hairstyle Ms. Heard had that night? No. Nope. Do you know what type of makeup Amber Heard was wearing that night? No. Can you tell me whether she was wearing concealer or foundation? No. Could you tell me whether she was wearing blush? Okay, this is Can Amber Heard's lawyer wearing any type of grilling the security guard who said Amber Heard didn't have any bruises. No. Proving that so he didn't notice anything about wrote? Amber the sentence i did not notice any bruises cuts swelling red marks or any other injuries of any kind in this bird's face she's making good sure points if i would have said something like that i would have said something oh that's did also true I, I didn't i didn't saw any marks or bruises on her face i don't just don't recall just don't saw anything she was just standing in front of me 
I'm asking specifically, I did not notice any bruises, cuts, swelling, red marks, or any other injuries of any kind to Ms. Hurd's face. Who wrote that? That's what, that's what I said. <laughs> I didn't saw any marks or bruises on her face. That's what I said. But who, they, asked, they asked me, they asked me if I remember seeing anything. I said, I just don't recall seeing any marks or bruises because she was just sitting in front of me. It's a good point. I just don't remember any, seeing anything. I just don't remember. If it, how it would have been so obvious, like someone had like a black eye, I would have like, whoa, you know, I would have seen that. And I would It'd be crazy to know what her outfit was. It's something that you will, you will see. You're like so noticeable, like you will, oh, like you will remember. But I, when I was there talking to her, she was like three feet away from me. She was right in front of me. I just don't remember seeing any marks, bruises, or anything. But you don't know whether she was wearing makeup to cover it, do you? No, I don't know. I, I, she was wearing any makeup to cover it, probably. You know, the, the probably would you would probably would cover any bruise, but you cannot cover the swelling. It's true. Were you looking for swelling? It's been facts. No, I can say I was not looking for anything. In fact, you were spending more time talking to Rocky about her dog, were you not? That, that's correct, but I got I to gotta have it. I, uh, when I'm talking to someone, I look into the He doesn't eyes. seem like the greatest witness and for Johnny Depp and his, to, uh, and his, and his crew, and his motley Rocky, crew. I was looking to their eyes. Okay. And I would probably wouldn't notice like any swollen or bruise, like I said. I would probably Blackmore! I did see the dog. I didn't know where that was from. That you can't say that Amber Heard had injuries or did not have injuries that day on the oh. 25th? I don't remember. Okay. Like I, I would probably remember the swollen, but I didn't saw anything. I don't re just don't remember. And you don't remember seeing anything, right? But do you remember even looking? I remember. I remember. I re okay, I'm, I'm, so I'm repetitive. Sorry, That's all lawyers, man. I remember. I got to tell the whole story. How they got there. They're trying to catch him slipping. Before they got it, they went and get the keys. They come down. They say, somebody tried to get into my unit. They scratch on my door and say, and like, oh. I think this um, is the only I'm good really lawyer on the Depp team. The, or the oh, Amber team. Well, thing is gonna get into the unit because it saw some scratches on the door, like what four inches above the door, because the dog was scratching the door, was trying to get in, and they thought about someone trying to break into the the, the unit. I said, she's bad. Head, I you're saying, just being you dumb. Really, you think plus your sex is plus unit. you're a man plus There's ratio plus L. Like four inches above your the floor and your door. That was the dog trying to get into the unit. They were so afraid. Oh, somebody's trying to get into my unit. Like, oh, come on, really? And I actually, when they asked me to go inside the unit just to check room by room to make sure that no one was there. So I did that as part of my job, make sure they're safe. But I like, really, I didn't understand why they want me to do that. Like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Dude, he's cringing. I am just so stressed out because of this. I just don't want to deal with this anymore. I'm tired. I don't want to deal with this court case. I, everybody got problems. And I don't want to deal with this no more. I don't want to, I don't want to put this. <laughs> this dude's on lunch break at work. They're dogging him. The he's like, bro, get me you out. just testified about is Amber Heard and Rocky Pennington and talking about the dog and going up and checking out the penthouse. None of that was on video footage, correct? That's correct. We don't have cameras in the video. Um, I like this guy. We don't have cameras on the hallway. We okay. don't have cameras on the hallway. I'm going to show you uh, what has been marked as Romero exhibit number one is a deposition that you was taken of you on July 19, 2016. Now that's approximately two months after the May 21, 2016 
incident. Dude, they're uh, asking about stuff from I, five years ago. That That's so hard to remember. Sixteen probably did. I don't even know, remember. Okay. I'm going to take you to page 35. No, five years from this recording. If this is accurate. January 22nd, 2021. Unless this is irrelevant. When you were asked, this is the same incident that you're talking about now, okay? And it's talking about, okay, you spoke with Amber at the front desk, later saw her in the lobby, later went upstairs with her. It says the question at line six, I just want to go back for a second here. You said several times in answer to my questions that you didn't recall seeing any marks on Amber's face. When you say you didn't recall seeing any of those marks, any marks, did you mean that you didn't see any marks on her face? And your answer then was, I say that because when I saw Amber, I was not looking to see anything on her face. I was not looking to see anything. Do you recall giving that testimony on the under oath? back at that time two months after the incident yes i do i remember because like i said i was i always make eye contact with someone i'm talking to but i'm not looking that's sweet to find something like like oh your makeup is wrong uh you you haven't uh, have changed your eyebrows or your uh, eyelashes are not even or <laughs> I'm not looking for Dude, you have I'm such mid makeup today. I'm not looking, I'm not looking for anything It's else. so but mid. If I see something, I will re probably will remember. If you saw something, right? Yeah, I, I would have probably would see like if she had a swollen, like if she was wearing makeup, probably would. Have He's seen, team. Seen see swollen, something, I say something. Probably would remember that. But I was not looking for anything. I was like, oh, you know. How, how swollen was Amber on the 25th of May? How swollen was her cheek? Well, that according to the pictures you, you, I've been seeing right now that you're showing me, it was pretty swollen. I will probably will remember that. How many days later did you see her from that swelling? That was on a Wednesday. That was from Saturday to Wednesday. Right. How many right. days would it be fair to say that you cannot testify one way or the other whether Amber Heard was he domestically abused by Johnny Depp on May 21, 2016. I can't. I cannot say that. I would not. I would not agree to testify against anyone of domestic violence because I was not there. I didn't see anything. I didn't hear anything. I was not there. I was never there. A little I bit was of vaping. Probably hundreds of miles away, and. I had no idea what happened that day. And do you remember that there was pictures of wine, a glass of wine and bottle of wine, wine stains on the floor outside of the, uh, in the hallway of the penthouse from May 21st, 2016? I remember telling the mark. I'm not going to tell you it was wine. All right. Well, it, you're I, I'm not an expert. Dude, he's so over it. Ladies and gentlemen, the next portion of this deposition contains questions asked by counsel for Mr. Depp. I feel like this is going to go way better. You sit here today, when you saw her at the front desk on March 25th, you didn't see any bruising, correct? Correct. Yeah, they're just going to ask him questions he's going to love. Uh, you didn't see anything, right? That's yeah, that's right. You want to go home, right? That's correct. Yeah, that's right. Any marks or bruises? You didn't see any swelling either, did you, Mr. Romero? That's correct. No swelling and she at was all. Only, and she was only three or four feet away from you, correct? Correct. And you were looking right into her face squarely, correct? Correct. And the lighting was good at the front desk, correct? Jackson, correct. It was so good that had she had any bruises, swelling, or marks on her face, you would have noticed that, correct? That's tough to oh, say. Correct. And then later that, later that same day, and you've testified to this already today, later that same day, you went up the elevator with Ms. Hurd and Ms. Pennington uh, in connection with their request 
for you to check the penthouse, correct? That's correct. Correct. <laughs> and during that entire uh, period of time, taking them up to the penthouse, walking through the penthouse, and then finally you leaving. He's pre the death, correct in his head right now. Uh, you did not. You look. You look at Miss Heard during that time period, correct? That's correct. And you looked her in the face, squarely in the face, correct? Correct. And you didn't notice any swelling, correct? Correct. I'm sorry? Correct. <laughs> yeah. I didn't saw anything. You said the same did, word 18 did times. See, did you see any swelling? Objection. No. Did you see any bruises? No. Did you see any marks on the face of any kind? No marks at all. And again, just to repeat, when you were previously, when you were confronted, the can report the face. Did you see any uh, swelling on her face? No. Nope. See any bruises on her? <laughs> no. Nope. Did you see any marks of any kind on her face? No marks at all. And how was the light down when you were at the reception and you were looking at her and didn't see any of the? No. Nope. How was the lighting? The lighting is actually pretty pretty good. It's not it's not far dark far at all. She was three feet apart. Three to four feet apart. Were you looking her square in the face? Correct. Okay. And when you were up in the penthouse and you uh, were looking her square in the face, how far apart were you from her then? We yeah. actually were, yeah. were pretty close to each other. Uh, she was probably next, just next to me. She, she was telling me like, go into this uh, this um, this room. So I need to pass right in front of her. And do you recall seeing any bruises, swelling, redness, or any marks on Miss Heard's face on May twenty fourth, twenty sixteen? I don't see anything. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point, the remainder of this deposition of this witness uh, contains questions by counsel for Ms. Hurd. I'm going to talk a little bit about the video clips that Mr. Depp's attorney showed you. Um, I'm going to ask you, first of all, Mr. Mr. Presidio showed This is a pre-recorded deposition they're playing live. Of video clips from May 24th. Do you recall that? May 24. Yes. Yep. Now it's Tuesday. But in fact, you don't recall seeing. That was crazy. He knew that. May 24th, correct? I don't remember. I don't even remember what I got for breakfast. <laughs> okay. That's a good well, point. Let's pull up exhibit number one. Let's stay on page 17. That's a good place. Um, Get this guy out of court. This is your deposition this from good July dude's 19, time. 2016. Do you recall that? 19? Yeah. Okay. And that's... That was the in the morning. Okay. And it said here... Uh, did you work... So Saturday was the 21st. Did is you he work famous? That day? No. He is now. Did you work Sunday, May 22nd? No. Did you work May 23rd? Yes. On May 23rd, while you were working, did you see Amber at any time? I don't recall seeing her. Question, did you work on Tuesday, May 24th? Yes, I did. And and on Tuesday, May 24th, at any time, did you see Amber? I don't recall seeing her. Do you remember that being your testimony two months after the events? No. Okay. I just don't recall. I just don't remember. Okay. Um, and then I, while we're here, now... Mr. Thoughts in the tie uh, chat. had you go through a number of video clips and ask you a bunch of questions about whether you saw swelling, whether you saw red marks, whether you saw... I like the butterflies. Kind of Don't think the red and the blue um, blend well. But in fact, um, I'm going to ask you, and tell me if you need me to bring up the videos and replay them. Can you tell me what type of makeup Amber Heard was wearing in any of those videos? No, I can't, I can't tell you. Can you I didn't tell even me? know she was It'd be insane lipstick. if he said Sephora palette can you tell me, and knew the can number you tell name. tell me whether Amber Heard was wearing concealer in any of those videos? She's doing this thing again. Uh, no. 
Can you tell me whether Amber Heard was wearing about. any foundation in any of those videos? No, I can can't tell you. Can you tell me whether Amber Heard was wearing any blush in any of those videos? No. Can you tell me whether Amber Heard was wearing any powder on, in any of those I hope videos? he cracks on one. No, but she looks really pale. Well, do you know what shade of concealer or foundation or powder Ms. Heard uses what or used at that time? No. Okay. Um, so you don't know whether Ms. Heard was wearing makeup in every one of those video clips, correct? Correct. Right. Yeah, I'm going to try to move along. So the <laughs> incident was May 21st, 2016. You saw her the night of May 25th. Correct? Correct. You said right. you saw Amber Heard hundreds of sure. times while she was there. Amber Heard treat you well and was she friendly to you in each of these hundreds of times? This car's getting a hot box over yes. here. Yes, yes. I'm not going to say no because she was really always nice. Why did his all right. audio quality get nice. way better? Be nice. All right, this is my last question. You testified in response to Mr. Presidio's questions <laughs> um, that you, Where are you testified going? truthfully in all of these occasions. Did you testify truthfully, truthfully to everything that you testified in response to my questions today? That's correct. Uh, All right. I, I did. Let's get some lunch, bro. All right. It's a good time to break for lunch. Uh, we'll just break a little early. That's so what I'm saying. Don't talk to anybody. Don't do any outside research. And we'll see you at 2 o'clock, okay? Thank you. All right, two o'clock, which means one p.m., which means right now it is. Wait, oh yeah, yeah, no, no, sorry, yeah, yeah two p.m. Okay, so so an hour and ten minutes. So we have an hour and ten minutes to play games with Northern Lion. Let's do it. Here's the uh, here's the situation. I'll, I'll intro this like it's a YouTube video. <clears throat> the what's going on is um, well, well, first of all, this guy. This is what this is like my favorite YouTube video. This is my dream. Competitive Google Maps looks like. Okay, is this Brazil off the bat. Yeah, hundred percent Brazil, hundred percent Brazil. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go somewhere south. Piranha. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go guess. Nice guess. Not bad. Pretty close for Brazil. Yeah, 200 points. Not bad. They're doing 2v2 geo guessing. UAE, UAE, half a circle. Uh, let's go outside Dubai. Whatever. Only 36 miles. This is obviously Jordan here. Um, this is Amman. This is Amman. Yeah, I don't know what road this is. I'm just going to go somewhere this outside the capital. More north. Oh, wow. Super south. Wow. Whatever. 24 points. Obviously, South America. It's going to be chilly. Yeah, Northern Chile. Chile. I'll go to yeah. the north. Go a little more south. Nice, guys. Oh, let's go, baby. 40 nice. miles. 400, that's big. Um, this is, was this Brazil again? This is North Brazil? What is this? Uh, yeah, Brazil, Brazil, North Brazil. I'll go Roraima. Wow. Oh, we can come back. We, we, we win these. We win these. Oh, it's gonna uh, be so easy. Um, okay. I don't know what this, this is US or Canada. I'm going Winnipeg. I'll go just outside and Quebec. Dude! Yo, let's, let's go! go! We take those! Let's go, dude! Let's go! Insane. All right. That's 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 how I'm trying to be with Northern Lion. But he, but here's the thing. This is why I'm doing specifically Northern Lion. Because there was a really nice post I saw on Twitter.com. I've been playing GeoGuessr for a while and I'm and I'm gold ranked. I'm very proud of that fact. Rubber Ninja Ross tweeted out being on holidays like GeoGuessr, but I know where I am. And I looked at these mountains and I thought to myself, man, it looks like whales. So that's what I replied. And then, little old Northern Lion comes in and says, Come on, brother. This is Scotland. But here's the fuck part. He said that after Ross replied to me and told me that it was Scotland. So it didn't even matter. There's no, there's no point of even saying that. He already told me it was Scotland. 23 hours ago, 19 hours later comes Ryan Letourneau talking that sweet. So today we're going to duel. We're going to find out if I can beat Twitch's... Oh, <clears throat> hello. Hello, hello. Hi. How's it going? 
It's going well, Ludwig. I wanted to congratulate you. On? Uh, well, I saw you were covering the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial, but I didn't even know that you were going to law school, much less had graduated and were a lawyer. Oh, it's actually better than a lawyer. I'm a journalist. Oh, even better than a journalist, a streamer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, they call us the journalists of entertainment. It's all of the perks and, and none of the punishments. Exactly right. And I did I did pass my law class because you're forced to take one in uh, the Walter Cronkite School of Mass Communication and Journalism. Although I did fail the first semester, but I got it the second. I got it. You know, I get there. Walter Cronkite School of Mass Communication. Yeah, yeah. It's the only journalism school with Walter Cronkite's name. He did bless it before he passed away. God bless. I'm trying. I was I was working on a joke, but I was trying to figure out like how spicy I wanted to to go with it. I was <laughs> like, I went to the Sean Hannity School of Mass Communication, but I wasn't sure if maybe it would be too much. Wait, okay, but <laughs> even if it was too much, you saying that you were going to do that joke is as bad as doing the joke. So you should just do the joke. Yeah, but like the streamers are journalists, but without any form of culpability, if you say that something is a joke and then you say it, people can't get that mad because you didn't say it. You just said that you were going to say it. Like Louis C.K.'s N-word bit from 2008. Okay, whoa, whoa. Now you've gone too far. <laughs> All right, let's hop into it. I'm with the Tucker Carlson of Twitch TV, and we are going to do a little bit of GeoGuessr 1v1s. You know why I'm challenging you today? Why? Because in your words, you peace, I go on Twitter.com this morning, mm -hmm. and you're roasting me for saying whales to Ross's yes. uh, post. That's because in my... Geo duels experience whales doesn't show up that much if some if you see rolling hills uh and you don't see red houses uh then you know you're not in norway and you would guess that probably we're in somewhere in the british isles and and scotland is the most mountainous part of them you know he's not in a google car and he's on vacation like you can go to wales on vacation yeah but why would you <laughs> I mean, what I meant to say was, um, I'm thinking of a joke, and the joke is, why would you? But I would never right. say that. No, of course, of course, of course. Culpability removed. Did you mm -hmm. see before you replied Scotland that he said he was in Scotland? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so you were just dunking on me. Yeah, and but I got rewarded because now we get to do some geo duels. So All right. What's, what's the lesson there? That's uh, <laughs> this is the same <laughs> lesson that Twitch story. chat picks up, where it's if you say something mean, you might get called out and a little bit of attention. That's true, yeah. I mean, I'm a, I'm a goblin mode like the rest, of, the rest of the people online. I understand the game. All right, let me send you a little sweet invite, and we'll do some duels. Have, you've done a bunch of these. What's your rank right now? I'm gold, low gold. Okay, I'm also low gold. I thought you were plat at some point in your life. Is this true? Listen, okay, so I was going, I was one win away from being platinum. My stream was over time. And I said, let's go for it. I lost that game. And then the next stream, I fell all the way down to silver. Okay. Can you, have you played offline? Not, well, I, I've been playing GeoGuessr for years, but I haven't grinded any offline. Stream snipers no, are offline. rampant nowadays. Uh, it's crazy. It, like the first time I streamed, I would, I would probably had like an 80% win rate. The second time I streamed, people would see that there's like, uh, oh, I can see the mirrors on the car. They put us right in Guatemala immediately. It's too much. It's too much. Uh, I have not received your invitation, by the way. You're lying, but that's all right. <laughs> well, I don't know. Where, wait, maybe. It's on Discord. It's a empty? link. Oh, you have been invited to join. What the? Oh, I remember how we do this. Mm-hmm. You've been invited to the beating North Northern Lions <laughs> Ass Club. Okay, I spelled it slightly <laughs> wrong. I'm a, I'm a journalist for Christ's sake. Don't roast me here. <laughs> Holy God, I've never seen this before. But I'm realizing I should not show the window because it has a link attached. So I will not show the window. <sighs> Uh, I believe it's two player max, but it is probably best to not show it regardless. Okay, I can do that. All right, how how spicy you want to get on the first one? You want to do standard rules? I feel like that's sure. a good way to yeah, start. Yeah, that sounds. But uh, but I'm not against spicy. I'm a goes. quick guy. Like I, it, in all respects, 
I don't like to spend more time than is necessary. So a lot it puts people off balance a little bit. Because as soon as I get have a guess for where I'd like to go, I'm already in. Interesting. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't mind if we if we we got an hour and ten here before I have to go back to my journalism job and right, you know yeah. you can frolic in the streaming world and play games if you want. I have to <laughs> report on the news. Uh but we can reduce it to ten, five. We can get crazy. Wait, so you're you're doing you're doing duels with a fifteen second maximum right now. That's that's standard, right? That's if you do that, a random. I was doing random duels. Oh, 15 seconds after one person guesses. Yes. Oh, okay. Not 15 seconds. Like no, 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 no. Okay. No, no. Uh, all right. All right. Sounds, that sounds fine to me. Five to seconds is like you wouldn't even be able to click like the right country probably. Yeah, I checked and you can't even do five. The game has decided okay, that yeah. that's too little. Okay. I think I'm I'm ready to go. All right, all right, let's grip it. Let's grip it. I'm gonna I'm gonna mute up when it starts. Okay. I should Any, do the same, but maybe I won't. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't mind hearing your rambling. Plus, I I take after Twitch chat, so I do have your stream and your chat open just in case. Like I just oh okay yeah fair enough. Hold yeah, on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to hit my mute key. Okay yeah. I almost deleted the screen region. Okay, I'm gonna try to hit my my mute key. Okay, it worked. I'm I'm prepared. I'm ready. Okay. Okay, great. Ready? We're doing it. We're doing it. Good luck. All right, we're in it, baby. We are going up against Northern Lion in a 1v1 GeoGuessr duel. He is Twitch's finest GeoGuessr ambassador. Uh, let's see what we can do. Starting off, where the hell am I? Fortuna Legasus. I mean, that seems like Italian, right? Or Latin, maybe? I don't know. We're in somewhere in Europe. Doesn't seem like it is Italy or Portugal, just based off the license plates. Let's take a look at this car over here. What the hell is Kuvo Ren Takuka Katu? Probably hungry, because that language makes no fucking sense to me. And if the language doesn't make sense, it's probably hungry. Very mountainous, though, so I'm going to guess, like, maybe a little bit left. Maybe near Pex. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. Th nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Don't question mark me because I'm not cheating and I'm trying to play honest and it's been a bit, okay? And also, I would beat everybody in chat. Just relax. Relax. I just got to make him feel good about himself for a little bit. Uh, Protégion. Okay, this is French. We're probably in Quebec. Maybe not. No, we're definitely in Quebec, I think. Let's just double check one more time. Yeah, I think we're in Quebec City, Quebec. Maybe a little outside. Oftentimes it ends up being like a little more south of Quebec City. It's not like central because it's the suburbs around Quebec City. I'm going to go with St. Marie. Call it a day there. Look at these Quebecois kids. Little do they know their most famous... Oh... Oh, good guess. It was actually Quebec City on, on, on the dot. He went Montreal. All right, on the board. <clears throat> Yo, are, aren't you Canadian? Oh, sorry, never mind. Try the quick roast, quick roast. Get him out of his element. Get him out of his element. We're in the southern hemisphere. Okay, very dry. What side of the road are we driving on is the main question that I have to figure out. It's the left side of the road. Okay. So if we're driving on the left side of the road, we're going in kilometers, and we're in the southern hemisphere. We're probably in, I mean, I don't know. This is a bit tough. I, I have to imagine this is Australia. I don't, the roads are so North American. It's weird. It's really throwing me off here. But but we're definitely, I think, in Australia. Oh, wait, let's take a look at this car. What is this, a Miata? BMW? Okay, fair enough. I want a Miata! It's so mountainous. What a tough one. Honestly, not really sure. But we're driving on the left. We're in the southern hemisphere. Let's just make the guess. For some reason, I feel like... Okay, where's the most mountainous area? Australia is kind of flat, isn't it? That's the only thing that's kind of throwing me for a loop. Maybe we're in New Zealand. I might regret this. <sighs> Do I really want to make the guess that it's New Zealand? I just feel like Australia is flat. Maybe it's South Africa. No, it can't be South Africa. 
It's so dry for New Zealand, though. It's so dry. Like, look at this. If you have one baby in one baby reveal party, a gender reveal party, this whole fucking place goes up in flames. Didn't he start this out by saying he's a fast guesser? Oh, we got a sign. Manny Oto. What the hell is that? A timeless... It seems so icy. Where am I? Maybe Tasmania? You know what? I'm going to make a guess that it's Tasmania. The reason... Actually has almost no logic. Overall, I regret everything I've done up to this moment. Yeah, okay. I regret everything I've done up to this moment in my life. I was literally there. Why did I switch? Why did I switch? I thought it was too dry, so I went to a smaller island, which is even less dry. Doesn't make sense. All right. Either way, where are we at? Seems like Europe. Taking a look at the license plate. Definitely Europe. I don't know. Maybe France. Nah, probably a little more east, a little more inland. Car on the side of the road. Little rusted metal on these side posts. So flat, though, huh? Look how flat this is, dude. Bahekta. Vignette. Alpen. Okay, I shouldn't try to say words because then when I get to China, I wouldn't do it, you know? And let's treat everyone fairly here. Dude, look at this. Holy shit. It's like I took a time portal into the USSR. Ready? Here we are, modern day, Eastern Europe. Bang. <laughs> what the? Oh, it's just winter. Right. That's how it works. Uh, I don't know, honestly. I'm going like Bulgaria. Oh, and just kidding. I misclicked to Ukraine. Uh, that's all right. I knew it was Bulgaria. I just should have spent more time trying to find Bulgaria. Healing round. This is good for us. Better for us than it is for him. Rent anything in Malta. Yo, you think this one's in Malta? <laughs> Let's take a look. <laughs> but wait, I'm not trying to ghost you. I'm not good with Discord. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, you're good. No, you're good. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> This is actually good. If I keep talking to him in Discord, he has enough social awareness that he feels like he has to reply. And he, he's also old enough, though, that he doesn't know how to switch out of Discord. So I can stress him out if I talk to him and make him lose time on actually looking around. Something I should keep in my back pocket. Anyway, I saw DIE, which makes me think it's Germany. I still think it's Germany. Where in Germany is a great question, though. No, isn't this Austria? Isn't it Vienna? Yeah, it's Vienna. Woo! Almost fucked up, but I remember Einbahn are the are the road signs in, in Vienna. Or moreover, Austria, but if it's Austria, it's always Vienna. It seems like Argentina. Nah, it could be Peru. I'm going to go Peru here. Oof. Do I really want to just make the guess, though? Could be Mexico. Hmm. Either way, I think I'm spot on with those four countries. So let's just narrow it down. Oh, fuck. Wait, 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 wait. Agency of what? Where's the agency assigned? It was Bolivia. Okay, we both thought Peru, though. Holy shit, we are, we are neck and neck right now. After my first terrible guess, I don't think we have been more than like a few miles apart. It's a bit of a heated battle. Driving on the right seems to be maybe uh, Andorra uh, is my first guess, which is a bit of a, a tough guess to totally settle in on, but I really think this is Andorra. Let's take a look at one sign. Nope, now I think it's not Andorra. What the hell is Dogana? Maybe it's Norway? Can I go to the other side of the road, please? 
No, maybe it is Andorra. You know what? I'm just going to do Andorra. This looks familiar to me. I'm just going to take a stab. I could be super fucking wrong. I've just been to Andorra. <laughs> Switzerland! Oh, that's going to be tough. Okay, we're still in it. We're still in it. Ah, I should have looked around. That makes a lot of sense because there's multiple languages. I saw the three languages and I thought that maybe it's Andorra because they speak French and Spanish and Catalonian. But obviously it's Switzerland because they speak French and German and every other fucking language in the world because they're European and they have better access to education. And all they do is ski in the Swiss Alps, have well-made gear. How the fuck do you know where you are? Is he going easy on me the first few? I don't know, Romania? Hungry. <sighs> okay. All right. Hey, well, well done. Oh, well. Hey, I couldn't believe. I was, I had to tell my chat, Chad, be cool. I know Ludwig guessed that we were in Andorra on that one. He thought those were the Pyrenees when it clearly had the type of foliage you only see on the Alps. I said, be cool. Not everybody's uh, been to the same kind of geology classes that we've, we've watched on YouTube during our React Andy phase. And what about the last one? Did you have any notes for that one? Okay, so I saw the Hungarian flag. And he, I, I'm going to give you my memory trick for it. The Hungarian flag is horizontal stripes, red, white, green, because when you're Hungary, your middle is empty, and maybe you put your lettuce on the bottom of the burger. It doesn't make sense, but it'll stick in there. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh, so, uh, hold up. I'm going to Google Hungary flag, and uh, like, I really want to burn this in. So lettuce on the bottom, what's the white in the middle? That's just you're empty in the middle because you're hungry. You got nothing in your stomach. Empty in the middle because you're hungry. Lettuce on the bottom. So lettuce on the bottom is just for fun. That's just style points. That was how I learned it the first time. And then someone said, what about because you're empty in the middle? And I said, that makes way more sense. And you ignore the red, no tomatoes? Well, at that point, it's already stuck in my head. So I, sure. don't, I don't need the extra, the extra sauce. Were you, were you, were you spent a lot of time on a few of those and then you went a little harder? Were you going easy on me? What's going on? Were Not at easy? all, no. Um... I'm trying to think the first one. What was the first one? I got a lot of points on that. Oh, I, I thought it was Finland. You thought it was Yeah, I went with that. That was a bad guess. It was a bad guess. I went hungry because I saw a sign, and when I don't understand the language, I, I think it's Hungary or Finland, but I haven't figured out the difference between the two. It's funny because I, I have the same thing, but it's not Finnish. It's like Lithuanian. Yeah. So if I'm like, it looks like cold um hungary then i'm like okay that's lithuania if it looks like warm lithuania i'm like that's hungry even though it's still pretty cold i think <laughs> you didn't perchance leak the code at all right mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> that's weird are there people in the lobby oh shit i just leaked the code all right join up a new one join up a new one okay that's fine <sighs> just do one. yeah just, I, same uh, again we, yeah of course i mean that, we, 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 we were best in tight three? there for a little bit for sure I had, I had a couple of 50-50s that, that went my way, to be honest. I, you know, on the, on the New Zealand one, I was on New Zealand, and I went Tasmania because I think I was nervous. I, well, I did the exact same thing. I, I was zooming in on New Zealand. I couldn't find what I was looking for. I said, this country is relatively small. I, it must be in Australia then. I would have found it. That's what I was thinking. I also I, I went to Tasmania because well. they like in the duels, they like to give you the countries or the regions that are a little bit off the beaten path sometimes. You know when they give you Russia, but it's the very, very, very far right side of Russia right next to Nipondes? I love that. I hate that. I live for that. You get that? If it looks like Japan, but I see someone wearing a Yushanka, I'm like, I'm willing to stake my whole game on an Eastern Russia guess. Sometimes I think you start sentences just so you can say words like Yushanka. Yushanka is a Russian, the furry Russian hat. No, I'm aware. I just think you start the sentence so you can say Yushanka. It popped into my head before the sentence was fully formed. I'll admit. It was, maybe it is an excuse. <laughs> uh, See, that, those up. are the journalistic instincts you get when you've been watching uh, live court proceedings for a week and a half. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I did, I did major election coverage as well. Well, and so honestly, this is probably like a walk in the park relative to the kinds of uh, reactions you were getting during election. Defamation coverage. case? I mean, it's tough mm -hmm. to prove, okay? I'm not going to lie. Actual uh, actual malice? I don't mm -hmm. know if we're going to prove that here. We'll find out. Are, are you joining I, up? I don't have another link. 
I'm sorry to say it, but it's I, the same link. I'm, oh, I, so my chat narked on you and said that you were calling me old, but that's actually true. Um, yeah. Wait, why is that? A, that's not. A, it's a narc. Unless they're in, they're not in accordance. Right. That's, did they tell uh, you my strategy? Guy, they did not. No. Okay. All right. That's good. Is your strategy wait wait till I accidentally double mute and then <laughs> copy everything that I'm talking about on open it, comms? Even more devious. Even more devious than that. Uh, join dual at top on old link, and it's just us okay, in the lobby. Yeah. All right, same one. We're just gonna go for a classy best of three. Okay, I'm ready. Good luck. I, good luck. If I lose, it's a best of five. If I lose, if it's a best of seven. If I lose, it's a best of nine. If I lose, it's a best of eleven. If I lose, it's a best of thirteen. All right, boom me in, boom me in. Where are we at? Where are we at? No. I have to beat Northern Line. I have to just get one win on the board. Europe. Okay, great. Love that for me. But where in Europe? Seems Eastern European. Rest a race? What the fuck? It's like a Michael Scott business. All right, hold up. That's a sign. Uh, Reserve. Okay, a little French. But are we in France? Or is it just a country that uses, I don't know, similar Latin roots? Tello Visna, rest the race. Okay, this, does, this seems maybe Romanian. I feel like Romanian's where I'm going in my heart. Lek Bna. I, you know, I really want to go Romania. Mm, maybe check though. Maybe check. Ooh, that really that threw me for a loop. It has a Z in it. Maybe the Czech Republic. Oh God. You know what? I'm gonna stick to my guns here. If it looks like French, but it seems like it has Russian roots, it could be Romania. Let's go Cluj. Why don't I trust myself? Well, I did trust myself, but I shouldn't have trusted myself. Obviously, it's the Czech Republic. There's a Z. It's okay. We're fine. We're fine. We st we just a bit of rust. Just gotta. Okay. Probably France. Peugeot. We're gonna go France. Somewhere on the right. <sighs> Hopefully, we got him on his heels right now. Whoa! Well, I had him sweating because he did a bad guess, but I should have been sweating more because I did an even worse guess. I, I saw French buildings and I saw a French car and all of a sudden I thought it was in France. Turns out, North Macedonia. All the dots are connecting. We're not playing well right now. We're not playing well. We're not, we're not, we're not doing the best. I should do the thing that my Twitch chatters do and start pulling up chat. The thing is, I, I can't even rely on like tried and trues like... Um, like, oh, there's a tear in the sky at Senegal. Because he'll know all of those. He'll know every African country under the sun. Okay. I don't want to say it out loud because I feel like people in Twitch chat are going to make fun of me. But who else... Is thinking Romania. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. White in the middle and I'm hungry. Shit. What if it's green in the middle? Green in the middle. What the fuck does that mean? So we're not hungry? What the hell are you? Belarus? I don't know. B Croatia? Slovenia? It's somewhere in here, right? Doesn't seem Serbian. I don't think it's Croatian. It's definitely not Romanian. It's not Polish. Is it Czech? It's not Austrian. I'm just going to go Slovenia in the top right. Because I assume it's a country close to Hungary, right? Like, if you're going to bite Hungary's flag word for word, bar for bar, you're probably close. Fuck! It was Bulgaria. Okay. You know, not the greatest rounds of all time. Bulgaria? They're biting Hungary's shit? Uh, okay. Seems like there was a, just a, t a hint of... Okay, Denmark. That's easy. That's easy. We love that. You know, I'm just going to guess they're riding into Copenhagen. Good airport. So, for, right now, it's 1,192 to 6,000. 
And he actually can't heal right now, so I don't know why he's looking around. Okay, this is where we're going to do Operation. Make him feel like a... Oh, it wasn't a heal round. Oh, and he missed the sign. Oh, this is South Africa. How do I know it's South Africa? <laughs> it's so easy. Not getting South Africa here would be embarrassing. It's because there's fences in front of the, the houses. And they, and they love fences in South Africa. Okay, it's a big fence country. I was actually setting myself up to be wrong there, and then I was right, so I don't really know how to react. Uh, okay, probably the Netherlands. Could be the UK. Uh, oh, we're at a bike shop. We're definitely in the Netherlands. I don't think any human has biked in the UK in 18 years. Okay, I went Amsterdam. He went south. It was kind of in the middle. He gets a little more points there. That's all right, though. I'm just saying, when Boris got in office, they stopped biking. Those trees look Polish. No, they don't. Northern Hem. Very narrow road. Oof. Genuinely no idea. Feels European to some extent. No, it doesn't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are we? Whoa, whoa, whoa. People out on the street walking with umbrellas? Hold up, that's a sign. <clears throat> I don't have the fortune to skip signs here. Okay, that language makes zero sense to me. That's a bad sign. <clears throat> I don't know here, honestly. <clears throat> I went Bangladesh, but it could be India. Oh, it's Sri Lanka! You know, I thought about it. I thought I genuinely thought about it. But every time I've gone Sri Lanka, I've been wrong. And every time I haven't gone Sri Lanka, I've been wrong. So I just I'm I, I'm a hit in a in a misser. Swing in a misser, I guess. <clears throat> Northern hemisphere. I don't know. Seems like Jordan. Right? Let's take a look at a car. No yellow license plates. Makes me a little nervous now. Tunisia. Could be South America. Maybe I'm maybe I'm 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 very fucking off base. Uh, that's, that's like Saudi Arabia, right? No! Oh my God. Thank God he's stupid. I would have beat him. I, oh my God. I, I, I was on the UAE. I, I was on the UAE and I, and I couldn't scroll in fast enough. And I was on, I was on Turkey and I was confused. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. It's all. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh, fuck. Oh, jeez. I, I had him beat. He went fucking South America. Via Brazil shopping. I mean, we're probably in Brazil, right? Rio, Conoma, Loja. We're driving on the right. Pare. I mean, we're just in Brazil, right? But, yeah, dude, Brazil fucking... Oh, I hate, I hate seeing Brazil in Google Maps. I'm gonna go Sao Paulo. Okay. Oh, it was Rio. We're closer. We're closer. Oh, we're actually farther. It's all right, though. It's all right. We're on 3.5x. And he, we've seen big whiffs from him before. He could do it again. Delivery in progress. I think that's English. Seems like Singapore. If I had to guess. Let's go Singapore. Singapore is good for me because Singapore is such an easy guess that it's going to go to 4x. It was Singapore. I was right. We guessed almost on the same exact street. We were 0.3 miles away from each other. <clears throat> All right. Quadruple damage. We're in Japan. Nope. Korea. Excuse me. Fuck. He knows Korea way better than I do, doesn't he? Doesn't he speak Korean? Am I making this up? Am I psyching myself out? I don't know. I don't know these streets in Korea. And I don't want to give him the opportunity to guess too long. I'm going to go Seoul. Keep it simple, stupid. 
It was Seoul. It was. Oh, no, it was just north of Seoul. Although we are closer by uh, uh, eight, eight, 10 miles. Don't you like speak Korean, my man? I mean, come on. <laughs> it's always Seoul. Don't even try to flex. Yeah, come on. Uh, seems like maybe South Africa. Like a very rich part in South Africa? No, they're driving on the... Oh, fuck, what side of the road are they even driving on? Could be Florida, actually. No, driving on the left. It's probably South Africa. No, it's it's uh, it's Singapore again. It's Singapore again. Some rich neighborhood in Singapore. I don't know where the rich people in Singapore are. I feel like they're on the left somewhere, but I'm just going to guess here in the north. Okay, they're kind of close. Oh, fucking Singaporeans are rich as shit. 5x damage, 5x damage. We're going in for the kill shot. Going in for the kill shot. Europe driving on the right seems to be like, I don't know, like classic Western European. Austria, it's Vienna. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! That was an equal score. We were exactly uh, within 0.2 miles. Okay, okay, okay. All right. We're getting sweaty. I don't think I've been around 14 ever. Oh, God. Oh, God. Where are we? Where are we? I don't know. Seems Eastern European. Tompa Miali Koni Vitar. Okay, that's a tough one to say. Bazi Naji. Sure. Hungry. Okay, let's go. Do I want to go Budapest? I don't think so. I'm going to go a little bit to the right. Okay, good guess. He went Budapest. I think I think I beat him. I beat him there. Okay, okay. All right, all right. We get some points off. We get some points off. Greek. Oh, I'm way closer. I'm way closer. Wait, I might kill him here. Woo! Woo! We got a lead. We got a lead. Oh, fuck. I think it's Kyrgyzstan. Could be Mongolia, though. I think it's Kyrgyzstan. Imagine getting lethal for 20,000 points. Last words out of my mouth, I think it's Mongolia. You know, I, I found myself second-guessing whether it was Mongolia or Kyrgyzstan. Yeah. I'm not yeah. going to act like it was all skill. There's there's a lot of, you know, it's, it's poker. There's a lot of gut checks in there. I, did, I had you on the UAE. There was a flag. You missed it. You went South America. It was way too white of buildings for that. And It was a horrible guess on my part. And I, and, I, and I didn't click in time. All right. Well, like we said, best of five. Let's do it again. Okay. Run it back. I've, I, have you been around 16 like that before? Uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, we were like tied uh, on the guesses and I was losing 700 points a guess. So I was... I was yeah. starting to get a little sweaty. <laughs> it was like, I mean, it was like some pretty easy ones, but you know, it was it, we were we were within a quarter mile like four times in a row. Yeah, that was it. it was nuts. We're the, it's the same person. It's a mirror match. I get it. I get it. I'm, I'm thinking so hard. My head's heating up. I'll join you soon enough. All right, let's see no, it. Game three. No comment. No comment. <laughs> Good luck. It's a little ball joke for the fans. All right, let's get in there. Uh, driving on the right, I don't know, could be, could be anywhere in the fucking world. Okay. <laughs> I think the amount of places it can be has drastically dropped. Doesn't seem like yellow license plates, though. I wonder if it's Tunisia. It's the only thing that I'm, like, second guessing in my head right now. I, I need to be able to scroll into the UAE faster. Is that Israel? I feel like it's, I think it's Tunisia. I don't know. Oh, 
It was Jordan. I, 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 for some reason, I am still unable to discern the text difference between like Jerusalem and UAE, but they are very different. Like usually in Jerusalem and in, in Jordan, there's like a thick line under all of the words that connect them, almost like cursive, but they just put a line underneath. I don't even know how you'd write like that. Like I'm, th do you put a line after it's all done? Like when you're making an emphatic point in the U.S. and you go. Casbro Woodcraft. I don't know. Seems like Ireland. I guess if we're driving on the left, I would think I would think Ireland. I have to find out if we're driving on the left, though. We are driving on the left. I'm gonna go Ireland. I think Ireland's a pretty good guess here. Could be UK, of course. If it's oh fuck, it's fucking South Africa. I'm so fucked. Oh, it's Ireland. Okay, cool. <laughs> Ah, my insecurities are, 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 are more fervent than ever. Oh, oh, confidence, confidence, confidence is key. Okay, we're on a railroad, middle of goddamn nowhere. Where the hell are we? What does that sign even say? I can't read it. It's too far, too far, too far, I don't care. What side of the road are we driving on? What is this? What is this? It's beautiful, beautiful mountain road. Hope he doesn't guess for a little bit here. Okay, we're in Europe. Wait, are we? Oh, it's Italy. Or Albania. I'm going to go Italy. Where's somewhere that would snow in Italy? Maybe it's Albania. They probably wouldn't snow in there either. I don't know, North. I hope this is right. I guess I always hope it's right, though. There's never a time where I'm like, oh, I hope this one's wrong. So it's not even worth saying out loud, but I will say it. I should have gone more central. I was right about Italy, and the fucked part is I still lose points because I went so north. I was so uh, iced out by the snow. <sighs> okay, that's all right. Singapore? We're driving on the left, but that car was driving on the right? No, we're going backwards. We're driving on the right. Gatirug. Mm, indeed. Sometimes I feel Gatirug. But other times I feel Gatirog. Um, Willkommen. Welcome. Bienvenue. Okay, we're definitely in Switzerland. I'm going to guess Bern. You know you're in Switzerland because they're, they, they're all quadlingual. I don't even know what that word is. Trilingual, quadlingual, quilingual. Ah! You could say I'm taking it well. I mean, what the hell is this? What the? Where? where what are we in? Fucking Mordor? What is this? What is this altitude? Oh my god. What what mountain are we on? What, I don't even know what this nation is. Okay. All right. That was crazy. It's like where they leave Johnny Depp to die. And pirates. Okay, Belgium. I'm just going to go Brussels. Seems like a major city. I don't think he'll get Belgium unless he saw that sign. It was a bit of a hard sign to see, and it's pretty high up. I don't know. He seems like 5'8", five, 5'9", five, to me. Okay, fair enough. Sorry for talking shit. It's in Ghent. Ghent. 12 points, baby. Put it on the board. All right. Can't say I was shut out. Driving on the left, probably south. Uh, no, Malaysia, right? Give me one more sign. Is that the American flag or the Malaysian flag? I can't fucking tell. It's Malaysian. Okay. It was a little more north, but we got it. We were closer. He went to the town next to Singapore, which is a, a, an often used town in Malaysia, so I don't blame him for that. 
Not a bad guess from him. All right, truck here, big road. It's hard to tell which direction the sun is in. Oh, fuck. We're driving on the right. I don't know, Argentina. That's where my head goes. Come on, give me, give me, give me a little closer. Give me a taste. Let's see what this gas station currency is in. I think that'll be pretty helpful. If it's like three dollars a gallon, you're in America. If it's like one eighty, you're in Europe. And if it's like eight hundred, you're in Venezuela. Okay, we're in Russia. Where the fuck in Russia is this? Honestly, do I dare go here or do I keep it simple? Let's keep it simple. Oh, thank God I kept it simple. Thank God I kept it simple. <sighs> oh my, we could have lost off that. All right, we were a little closer. It did feel like a Kyrgyzstan, which is why I'm glad it's close to Kazakhstan. I don't know. Driving on the right here. Is that a yellow license plate? Seems like it is. Netherlands? Oh, it's maybe not yellow. Where are we? A G. It's the Italian flag and the Swiss flag. Why the fuck is there an Italian and a Swiss flag? Oh God, that's bad. I think we lose. We're still in. We're still in. Okay, it was Switzerland. Why was there an Italian flag? What the hell are they doing in Switzerland these days? A little bit of a civil war going on, I guess. I don't know. Iceland? Norway? I'm just going to go Norway. I think that guess was too low. I think I should have gone further north like here. I'm going to regret this. I think the left side is right, but I should have gone further north. I zoomed in too far. Whoa! Okay. It was still Norway, technically. Should have gone much further north. How is that area considered Norway? Is that area even considered Norway? I guess I couldn't read maps well. The Planet Hollywood? Planet Hollywood's food blows. I'm getting information overload. Just keep driving. Keep driving. Keep your head down and keep driving. You don't got one fucking... URL in this bitch. Oh shit, that bus. UT? What the hell is UT? You why? Uruguay? We have such few points. If he's closer, we lose here. Yikes. Tough one. Yeah, they actually, uh, shockingly enough, only have Planet Hollywood in Uruguay in South That's America. That's true? Yeah, it's true. So, you know, when you see the Planet Hollywood, you, you know. Is there only one? Like, is it a, a landmark for you when you spot it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's oh, Hollywood that's Del the Monte Mundo. Montevideo uh, yeah, yeah, Planet yeah. Hollywood. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, I mean, it's like it's like a it's like a the biggest tourist destination in Uruguay. You know yeah. what? I, I could not name another, but now at least I got one. 
there you go. There you go. That's how it starts. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, okay. Do you want to? Do you want to keep going in this format? Do you want to lower the time a bit? Uh, we we could go to ten, I guess, just to keep it just to keep it hot. Do you want to? Okay. We uh, no, we got enough time. Let's just go down to ten. Okay. Sounds good to me. Eventually, I want to do a no moving, no panning, no zooming round. I would be totally in with that as well. But uh, look, there's time to kill. Okay, let's do it. Oh, this is not you. I didn't go back to the main menu. <laughs> or I didn't click play again. I'll leave game. I'll leave game. Okay, if this I'm hurts my the, MMR, I'm going to lose Do I go it. same link? Same link? Uh, Same link, yeah. Few I'm still people. in there. There's a faker. Don't oh, trust this faker. There's a lot of people, actually. I only see four. But I'm not the host of the Beating Northern Wait, yeah, Lion Ass Club. There's a faker. Oh, it's he has my name, but missing one N. Okay. You ha I'm glad you pointed that out to me because I would have gotten it wrong. There's an imposter among us. Do you ever play Among Us? I, we were we in Twitch Rivals together for Among Us once. I, maybe. I don't know. I played I played Among Us uh, a couple of times. Oh, I'm joining my one open seat. Yes, I'm in your lobby. There we go. There we go. All right, Godspeed. Good luck. Watch out for Planet Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, I like how he's so helpful when he loses and he tells me exactly what happened that was wrong. And I just lie. It, do you think that's because I'm a psychopath or because I'm really concerned about content? It's probably the, probably the former. Seems like in Italy, maybe Albania. I don't know how to tell the difference between Italy and Albania yet. Let's take a look at these people. Maybe they'll help me out. I, that didn't help anything at all. How, what was I expecting for them to just be wearing an Italian shirt, I guess? Or maybe like walking around like this. Road closed. You know what? I'm going to go Albania. I might regret this guess, but there's zero chance that I'm wrong. I was right. Wait, everything good over there? I was talking about Game of Thrones. D did you just get distracted? I got. I I didn't leave myself enough time. Okay, should we restart? Okay. I feel bad. No, now. no, no. I already know where this one is. Okay. It's right. Not even that thing. Oh, you saw the same flag I peanut. did. You saw the same flag I did, didn't you? Mm, yep. Oh, and the well, the dude, of course. Like yeah, man. of course. You see that flag and that dude, and you know you are in this country. Mm. No! Oh. Well, well, well. I was distracted. I was talking to my grandfather. Anyway, let me go back to my mm -hmm. gameplay. <sighs> I, I knew it was there, too, by the way. I knew it was there. I mean, Southern Hemisphere... Hard to tell, honestly. We are driving on the left. I guess it is just South Africa. Keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple, stupid. We're in South Africa. We're driving on the left. We're in the Southern Hemisphere. It was Eswatini. There's a 20% chance. Northern Lions said it with the same exact enunciation. Okay. My heart is racing in weird ways. Uh, I think we could be in Guatemala. It's my guess right now. We also could be in South Africa again, I suppose. No, we're in the Northern Hem. I think we're in Guatemala. This could be a terrible guess. I'm going to do it. No! We're in Senegal! I didn't look up. Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't look up. I didn't look up. <laughs> oh god. I was just looking at the luggage rack the whole time. Me too. Me too. <laughs> Thank god he missed. Thank god he whiffed. 
Still in the game. That could have been a win for either of us, by the way. Healing round, so we can take our time here. Let's be leisurely. My heart rate's been a little too high this entire game, and I'm an athlete, so I need to lower it. I'll do my athletic heart rate decompressors. I don't know, maybe, maybe Ireland? <clears throat> what are all these houses? A house is not a home when your loved ones are gone. What happened to P. Diddy? Didn't he get rich on something? Who's the rapper who bought vitamin water and then, like, jacked up the sale price of vitamin water? Am I making this up? Or maybe I'm just conflating several people. Someone jacked up stock prices on Twitter. Was it 50 cent? And then he also happened to invest in, in vitamin water? Like, uh, not a day goes by where I don't consider just tweeting out, hey, everybody, <laughs> buy, you know... I don't even want to say it as a meme because I feel like the IRS can take me down. I guess that'd be the FTC. Uh, I don't know. I'm between three places right now. UK, Ireland, and Jersey. It's probably... <clears throat> it's probably... I mean, maybe it is Jersey. Because they're driving on the left, but it's European license plates. I guess it's just Ireland. I, I think I'm thinking too deeply. Oh my god, it was Ireland. Oh my god, he went Andor. What the hell? Did I do that? Was that my... Okay. Did, did I do that? Did it not update my... Okay. It was Ireland. Is this the Philippines? No, it's absolutely not the Philippines. <laughs> In fact, I think that was probably the worst guess I could have said, and I said it out loud, which is a bummer. Um, Brick. Cement. Is that guy shirtless with a hold up? Where did, did you guys see that? Where did it just, I just got flipped around. They're trying to hide the shirtless guy from me. Someone play the VOD back. Someone clip that and then we'll never be able to see it because YouTube clips suck. CT bus could be Connecticut. I'm not going to count it out. I feel like I've done zero work. I hope he's also goofing around. Are you kidding me? I forgot that there was 10 seconds. I forgot that there was... I forgot that there was 10 seconds. This is the worst game we've ever played today. <laughs> Honestly, that, we should just... I would strike that one from the record. We strike it from the record? That was not a legitimate game. I, oh, bro, he, Ludwig threw me a homie stock. It's commonly known in the world of Super Smash Brothers as a result of me failing to guess one time. It was made illegitimate from the, from the very get-go. You know what? I think you're spitting a lot of facts. Let's boot it back up. Ten seconds. I, that's that's hey, all I, I have to keep I in mind. I play again. Is this apt? Yeah, yeah. Just hit play again, and it's me and you. Okay. Look at that. All right. This is for real. I, I wouldn't guess anything else. Okay, I have to focus. I have to focus. We don't have enough time. I want to turn on music chat, but I also dream of a world where I make this into a YouTube video, and then there's no music in this live stream, and then the YouTube video has music, like my, my idol, the TikTok star. We're in Europe in a parking lot. <laughs> I think they drive cars in France, if I remember correctly. We can't be in the Netherlands because they only own bicycles. Oh, shit. We might be in the Netherlands. I mean, I just got to go Netherlands here. Wow. Okay. Reykjavik. Reykjavik. Classic Reykjavik. Bike trails. Who could forget? <laughs> Who could forget the Reykjavikian? 
bike trails. Uh, Rashid. Thailand. There's going to be a... Um, if I just go right here, a URL. Are you kidding me? We're only doing phone numbers? How outdated. Uh, okay, it's alright. I can decipher the language pretty easily. What the fuck is that? Okay. We're... Okay. We're... Okay. We're... Okay. Seems like Bangladesh. Oh, it's Russia. Or... That's gotta be Cap. That's just like a Russian school. It was Bangladesh. I was correct. I was a little further off. <laughs> I, I can't believe I thought about going Russia. I can't, <laughs> I can't. I can't believe that crossed my mind. A bunch of motherfuckers from Bangladesh in one Russian flag, and I'm I'm flustered. Uh, do we want to think UK here? What a long road. Give me a sign. They have horses in the UK. New development. People on bikes in the UK? I don't think that would ever happen. Struben. I mean, if I'm Struben anywhere, it's going to be the great nation of the Netherlands. Two people on bikes, yellow license plate, Struben. Must be Netherlands. Unfortunately, he was closer. Even though he got Belgium. Hello. Hello. How are you? Um, What's up, gamer? Yeah. yeah. Where are you going? Are you filming? Yeah, I'm streaming. Oh, it looks like you're just filming. No, streaming. I'm live streaming a match against Northern Lion. Oh, this is Idaho. It's not Idaho. It's definitely Idaho. Babe, it's not Idaho, and it, this is very stressful because Northern Lion's very good. And Idaho would definitely make me lose. We're definitely in Europe. I know you know what I actually don't think you know what Idaho looks I like. Love Idaho. You don't love Idaho. I love it. You don't love Idaho. I love potatoes. Those aren't but no where there were no potatoes. Hi. I what? it's not I I I I'm telling you this is Europe. You never been. You never been to this part of Europe. I I think that's Idaho, though. I, Okay, well, I, I you know, I'll keep it in the back of my mind. Cherovnik. I mean, I don't know. Check. I'm just going to go to the very right side of Czech. It's probably Poland, actually. Nah, it's probably... I don't know. Europe should just combine. In, like, a union. <gasps> he didn't guess in time? Is everything all right over there? Did his baby walk in? My fault. My fault. My fault. We go. We go. Are we good? We good? We good? Okay. We're good. I mean, he's got enough time, and he has a healing round. Tsunami warning. Auala. Okay, I apologize for trying to read that out loud, first of all. <laughs> Is it just Hawaii? It was the American Samoa. It's never Hawaii. That's the thing about it. It's never Hawaii. If it looks like Hawaii, it's not. It's Guam or the American Samoa. <sighs> all right. Uh, Hibiscus Coast. I feel like I should know what that is, but I have no fucking clue. We're driving on the left. All I know is that visitors are always wel welcome and we're in the Hibiscus Coast. How the hell do you know where we are? We're in the Southern Hemisphere driving on the left side of the road in a beautiful area. I don't know. New Zealand, Auckland. Oh, okay, it was Auckland. We get there. Uh, we actually could have won there because I, I said Auckland and I clicked a little further south because I, I didn't spend some extra time zooming in. Although we have them on the ropes. We have them on the ropes. As long as our guesses stay pretty tight. Eden, Charles, Robin, Harriet. Seems like UK name. I think we're in the UK. Could be Ireland. No, probably the UK. I think let's just go UK here. Keep it simple. I mean, all these brick buildings, a trampoline, 
Yellow license plates? Gotta be UK. Jersey! Oh, oh, Manuel. Okay, we're, we still got him on the ropes. He also went UK. Mm -hmm. 2.5x. Seems like Brazil. Maybe South America or South Africa. It's hard to tell. Ah, oh, fuck. I think it's Brazil. Oh, shit. I mean, why are we swapping between, like, your name POVs? Uh, what the hell? Can we just stick to one? You're throwing me off my game. Stop! All right, what next? A meteor? Can I, can I see one sign? I mean, the trees seem really South African, right? Like, if I Google South African tree, these trees come up. <laughs> oh, my God. We're playing fucking truck simulator. We're driving on the left side of the road, I think. I think we're in South Africa. Could be Australia, I suppose. Now I have to decide if it's Australia. Fuck me. What am I supposed to get from this? GG. I don't get it, man. It all lined up. For for it, for Uganda? Red. There was so much red dirt. Yeah, but we were driving on the left, and there's red dirt in Brazil. Oh, I always get my left and my right confused. Mm, mm. Oh, okay, well, excluding the moot game. Because there was one game that was moot. Correct, yeah. It is two to two. It's two to two in the best of five. So I think we crack out one final one, and then we try a no moving. Sounds fantastic. For all the marbles. For all the marbles. Good luck. Good luck. For England, James. That's a reverence to a boomer movie. It's called GoldenEye. It was, it was part of James <laughs> not, Bond. Not that I like GoldenEye. I've seen GoldenEye. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. Um, I, I got some James Bond quotes. Hmm? Ready up, money pussy. What the hell? <laughs> I'm not holding back. <laughs> Jesus this Christ. I, I'm sorry. I just it's 10 52 a.m. That's Sean Connery. Hmm. All right. Driving on the right. Speed limit. America. Jindes. For sure. Could be Canada. Tops. They don't get that in Canada. Edward. That's a Canadian name. Holy shit. Blankets. They're donating blankets. New Fane Manor. Is that NY? New Fane, New York. All right, let's find it. Let's find New Fane, New York on a map. I wonder if Northern Lion saw the sign is also trying to find New Fane, New York. Uh, oh, wait. Is NY maybe not New York? No, it's definitely New York. How the fuck did I end up in Ohio? That's a quote from everyone who currently lives in Ohio. I mean, I don't fucking know. I can't find it. I guess it's not big enough to make the map. Where do we think, though? I don't know. I feel like it's, like, closer to Rochester than it is to, like, Syracuse. I'll just go in the middle. New Fane, New York. Oh, there it is. I should have spent a little more time. I gave up early. We were right about New Fane. His Michigan guest, though, kept him in the game. That looks like someone hand drew this. <laughs> They're using Comic Sans font. Where are we at? They're using Comic Sans font on a sign. What's going on here? Where in Europe are they dropping that? Hold up. Is this Italy? We're in Italy and they're dropping Comic Sans font? All right. Fair enough to the Italians. 
further north. I never know when it's north. He went San Marino. He likes to get a bit custom. San Marino, I think, was a pretty bad guess there, but it is closer than my guess, so it's it's a good guess. Kind of flips. South America feels like to me, if I had to guess. Uh huh. Mahe. I mean, the buildings make me feel like it's Bolivia. What was that sign though? Okay, I think that's. Yeah, I'll go Bolivia. I'll go Bolivia here. I don't know if this is right, but I'd rather guess quick because I'm so insecure about where we are than uh, than take a while. Oh shit! If I walked four more steps, I would have found out we're in the island nation. I don't think I would have gotten this island nation, so I'm happy to get my 13 points and walk out of there alive. There's no way for me to technically lose on this round, so I can be comfortable. Driving on the right, a lot of red. We know Northern Lions going Uganda. Uh, what's the gas station looking like? Kind of weird, to be honest. Uh, we're in the Southern Hemisphere, probably just in Brazil, right? Keep it simple. All this red rock. Driving on the right. Brazil. These trees. Should have guessed further north. Should have guessed like here. Ooh, Chile. Okay, we both thought it was Brazil. Turns out we're both wrong. I would have never gone Chile. I won almost um, all those rounds, 75%. But unfortunately, didn't get too much off of it. Um, okay, we're in Taiwan. He's going to know that. So we can just snap guess. So we're almost going to be equally at max health going into round five. This is going to be a tight game. Hong Kong. You know what? That's actually kind of good for me because I'm at max health and he got less health from it. I don't know how to tell the difference between Hong Kong and Taiwan. I think the CCP struggles with the same thing. But I don't agree with that. Nailed it. Some people got mad at me on Twitter because I, uh, I was I, I saw Ranbu came out and, and I was like, oh, that's cool. But I was really confused because everyone knew he was coming out and all he tweeted was forward slash SRS, which is like serious. And then I was looking through and then I thought he was tweeting serious because he tweeted about a jelly bean and he said, this is my new boyfriend. He took a picture with a, a jelly bean, kind of like those old Ronald McDonald's that'd be outside of McDonald's um, restaurants. And I was like, did he come out with a jelly bean? But then I don't know if he maybe streamed it and then talked about coming out on the stream. So, I, look, I don't know. Either way, he came out, and I was like, that's cool. That's all to say that some people were upset at me because then I, I made the joke about Dream because Dream sometimes, um, uh, I don't know, Europe, Slovakia. I would have never, never guessed it in my life. Uh, people were mad at me because Dream um, is not out. I don't think he he is out. I don't think he's coming out. It's just, what the f Okay, hold up. We got to stop talking about Dream for one moment. I know it sucks. But we're in the Southern Hemisphere in Madagascar. GG. 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 That damn selfie stick. <sighs> got to know they're rocking the selfie sticks in Madagascar. But it looked so Ugandan because of the plethora of red dirt. You you know what? You would improve 10x if you never guess Uganda ever. <laughs> okay, you know, that's probably good advice. Um, Stay out of Uganda and you're a hero. I, I should have known, man. Because it's always like, oh, it could be South Africa. That's the genius guess. But if we want to get a little spicy, let's go Uganda. But then I always go spicy. I never get the 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 normal meal mm -hmm. i'm always i'm i'm chugging glasses of milk until i'm all bloated yeah i just found out what bloating is and it happens to me a lot with a lot of foods you have uh, like a, a gluten intolerance maybe i don't know my stomach protrudes like i'm pregnant but it doesn't hurt it just makes me look pregnant and i think it's kind of funny so i'm okay with it mm. that happens to me but uh, like when i sit down if I stand up and I put my arms like over top of my head, I'm like, man, I'm. You're selling yourself shit. short. You're an athlete, all right. I, I've, I've, you're still on your your peloton, right? 
Oh, I, I set a new PB today. There we go. What's the Believe PB? How not. do you PB a Peloton? Um, my my Chad, Peloton I'll do trial PB soon. today, I think I had a 377 kilojoule ride in 30 minutes. Is that like, is that like similar to Pascal's? Um, I wouldn't, I'm not that good at physics. Fair I enough. would, my, my power to weight ratio places me at the bottom category of amateur cyclist racer. But if like well, two like a months good ago, racer. I put it into the calculator and it was like, keep training. I put it into the calculator like two weeks ago and it was like, you could enter a race and come in last now. And I was like, that, that was enough for me. That's good. That's like, that's good. I mean, you can enter the race. They're, they're not going to like laugh. I'm not going to take so long that I'm going to slow down the race behind me anymore. I'm there so long that the union has to get paid for four hours extra because they have to stay and hold the banner so I can race through it. That's kind of base, though. Yeah, you know, I'm just actually a, a socialist trying to help out. Looking out for the workers. That's hey, what I we, like. That's why they always have those tables with like 10 people holding water cups that you just pick up and then throw on the ground. Yeah, yeah. That's union work right there. And then guess what? You throw it on the ground, more union work. Absolutely true. I litter because I'm helping unions. I don't even want to ask because it could get spicy, but are you one of those people that leaves the snacks in the in the movie theater? You leave them under your seat or you leave the drink in the drink cup because people are paid to clean up after you? I'll, I'll carry it out with me. And if I don't carry it out with me, Cutie will carry it out with me and then chastise me. So it's, I don't even have the option. That's all I needed to hear. I'll throw a little Coke on the floor, though, just so it's a bit stickier, so it gives it more of a movie theater vibe. With the price of tickets these days, you know? Yeah. You got to do you. Come on. Um, all right, one more. One more. Final. Just one game. No moving, no panning, no zooming. Ten seconds. Okay. So you, do you set those criteria, or is it like a gentleman's... It's set. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I won't hit play again. I'll go back to the main menu? Mm-hmm. Okay. I heard the... No, no. You do hit play you know, again. Okay. Oh, okay. I've hit play again. I heard the exasperation. It was like you were trying to explain to your mom how to like convert a Word document to PDF. No, I'm I okay. actually I'm just, leaning into it. I'm okay with that. I say mm-hmm because I'm just impersonating Michael Barbaro. Okay, I don't know who that is, but I'm going to laugh like I do. <laughs> That's what everyone does when they watch your stream. <laughs> then they Google it. <laughs> and then they come smarter next stream. Okay. All right, good luck. Good luck, good luck. What the fuck is this? Oh, I can't zoom. <laughs> Did you immediately try to zoom? Yes, I did. Am I muted? I don't know. I don't no, know. You get it. You get it. You, my secret technique today, by the way, was to uh, talk to you on Discord during a round because you would fumble so heavily trying to unmute. It didn't I, really work, I think. But Yeah, I don't think it worked. Maybe. I, I have no idea where we are, so I just clicked General Europe. I assume General Europe cuts it. In general, Europe cuts it. It was Slovakia. I went just top of Romania. 1,200 points down. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Fuck it. General Europe again. But I'm going to go a little bit more west. If this is south, of, okay, it was it was General Europe, a little more south than a little more west. That's okay, Albania. He gets some points there. Still in the lead, still in the lead. Nothing to be too mad about. Driving on the right. It's a river. What is this car? It's an SUV. Seems like Canada, maybe. Fucking shit, that was a bad guess. <laughs> I didn't think they knew how to drive an SUV in Italy. I'm sorry. Okay. Poland, for sure. Oh, my God. Finland. He's a little closer there. Okay. It's a heel round. <laughs> Went down to 2,400. Okay. That sign is such a long amount of texts. I almost want to say we're in Iceland. I should have just stuck with Belgium. Why am I trying to go crazy here? I'm trying to go fucking crazy here. All right, we can still win this. We can still win this. We can still win this. 
I shoot a couple things that I know. Driving on the right side of the road because we're crossing over to the left. I mean, it must just be Europe. But where in Europe? Probably, I don't know, somewhere flat. It could be Netherlands. It was Denmark. Okay. Yeah, Denmark makes sense. It was very flat. Could have gone a bit further north. I was a bit shy. <sighs> okay. Double damage. Right side. Seems like an American road. 525. I mean... Yeah, it seems like a like a rich part of America. Uh, I'm gonna go like Georgia. Oof, much further north. I might I might lose on that. All right, still in, still in. It was it was fucking Massachusetts. I should have guessed that. Foliage. Driving on the right motorcycle. Uh, I kind of want to go. Shit, driving on the right with a motorcycle. Bunch of trees trying to be planted. Another motorcycle over here. I, I kind of want to just go South America, maybe. It was South America. It was Colombia. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. All right. The comeback. The comeback. This is the last round. I just guessed General Europe. I just guessed General Europe. Yeah! All right. I, in, in addition to never going Uganda, maybe I'm going to slow down on the Kenya a little bit as well. You know you know the Kenya trick, don't you? The, yeah, but I can't move to see if I have a snorkel on the car. Okay. That's true. I, I Unless I saw a shadow of the snorkel. Yeah, I wonder if it's available from neutral view. But okay. All right. All right. All right. Well, hey, that was a pleasure. Uh, I gotta, I gotta. Hey, journalists gotta go do journalist things. I know they probably they're back from their recess, right? I, I know. I, I'm, I'm slacking these days. Uh, what would you do if one of the lawyers came out like Jim Carrey does in uh, Liar Liar, and his like shirt's all torn up, and he's got like a black eye? I, I mean, it'd be the greatest content of all time. That's a very good point. It'd be a riot. You kidding? I me? would be concerned for his safety. What I'm but, trying to do actually is just take clips from Liar Liar and then intersplice them with the actual lawyers from Amber Heard's team and see if anyone notices. Has anybody done the thing that Jim Carrey does in that movie where he says, Your Honor, I object? And then the judge says, On what grounds? And then Jim Carrey says, It's devastating to my case. Almost. Someone said, uh, they asked a question and then the, uh, the, the witness was answering and then they said, I object to their own question. And the judge said, That's your own question, sir. And he said, You're right. So we're getting there. I love it. I got to watch more Court TV. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see you soon. Enjoy. Enjoy right, stream. Have, have a good afternoon. Yeah, have Later. a great afternoon. All right. Back to court, baby. Bum, 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 bum. I don't think they've started yet. Thankfully, we didn't miss anything. I should order some food. I have not eaten food yet today. Oh, I don't have my phone. Okay, new title. Journalist Ludwig. Johnny Depp trial day 10, I think. Day 10, right? Isn't it day 10? That GeoGuessr is fun. Bit of a comeback at the end. This guy looks like, uh, who's that actor? In, um, Colin Firth? Yeah, he looks like Colin Firth. No, <laughs> no, I wasn't. Yeah, this guy right here looks like that actor. What's his name? God. What's that? He's, uh, why is the rum always gone? That guy. Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. Small world, I guess. <laughs> Small world. Colin Firth and Johnny Depp. Oh, dude. Look at my front page of YouTube right now. Look how gross it is because I've been watching the trial. 
This is actually insane. It's my stream, Johnny Depp reaction to Amber Heard, my song, Mango, The Trial, Ace Attorney Music, Amber Heard did what? Hilarious. Poop emoji, laughing, crying emoji. How to learn, I would learn to code if I could start over. So you guys can clearly see I'm working on my fallback. What was the photograph of Mr. Depp? And on my side of the bed, um, was human fecal matter. Was human fecal matter. She pooped on his bed. <laughs> They're about to play a foghorn like it's a fucking Spongebob alarm. Watch all the Pirates of the Caribbean movies on stream. It's allowed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, actually, it turns out that if Amber Heard wins this trial, all of Johnny Depp's movies will be in copyright uh, free. Holy shit. I custom printed the entire R Place final image on a one by one meter aluminum board to give Lud if he ever opens his P.O. box again. Dude, that's kind of awesome. Look at that. That's awesome. Yeah, I actually love this. You know, I actually would love this. I don't understand why people send things to streamers that are insanely rich. Like, yeah, it's sweet of you. But if they wanted anything you were giving to them, well, then they would just buy it for themselves. Like, bro, why not keep the R place thing to yourself? Why bother sending it to Lud? You can say your name once or twice. Do you not remember that he doesn't know you and will forget about you after the stream ends? I don't know. Weird rant on my part. My bad. I mean, what's this guy going to do with it? He'll probably just sit around his house collecting dust, give it to a streamer, and it can make entertaining content. And after loads, uh, afterwards, Lud may be able to put it on his wall. And then, nah, fuck X. He ruined our place. Okay, that got interesting. Uh, yo, fuck all these people. I absolutely want this. Are you kidding me? This is awesome. <laughs> uh, and I also think it's just sharing things. I don't know. Some people just like making things and sharing things. And maybe they just don't care about it that much. It's hanging out on their wall. They're probably tar like maybe number four in the R place experience. And then they're also probably just talented enough that they have the ability to print out on a one meter, one meter aluminum board. I don't think it's that deep. I don't think they're like, I send this to Ludwig. I am his friend. But somebody sent me this Mango sign because they built this sign for Mango. And Mango never replied to them. And they really wanted Mango to have it because they built this, this wooden sign. And, uh, and they put a lot of time and effort into it. And, uh, and you know, I, they just wanted to share it with Mango. And, 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 um, and I replied... I, I, I was like, yeah, I'll get it. I'll take it. And I hang it up in the back of my room. And so maybe the guy just tunes in a stream sometimes. And then, you know, he, he's probably more of a mango fan. And he's like, oh, fuck, dude, I made that. That's cool. And then other people might get joy out of the sign because they also like mango or perhaps America or perhaps colonialism. And then they're also like, oh, yeah, that's cool. And that makes the guy feel good. And so it's just sharing something you made with more people. And if it does really good, then you can start making a business out of it. And then you start selling shit. <laughs> I want to come to Mogul Money live, but my parents are not budging. I live in Pennsylvania and really want to help or want to help to L.A. help a girl out. I mean, look, it's your parents. I'm not really going to fight your parents on this. I hope you understand. I'm not going to call up your parents and be like, hey... <laughs> Because this, I assume now you're also under 18. And if they're not going to come with you, I cannot take responsibility of a child. Because I can't take responsibility of my damn self. But, you know. But hey, I'll do this for you. Call Melexna. Hello, call Melexna's parents. Are you interested in listening in making your daughter happy? I thought so. This summer, uh, July 2nd, is a very cool event called Mogul Money Live. Now, it has a lot of interesting streamers coming to it, and, and it's almost sold out. 
It's going to be at the SoFi Stadium where the Los Angeles Rams play uh, in the YouTube theater with a capacity of about 3,500. There's going to be very good security and very thorough security like an NFL game. If you guys wouldn't mind coming to Los Angeles during summer break, you could enjoy a wonderful show. It's also July 4th weekend. What better than grilling up some dogs? Am I right? Anyway, hope to hear back from you soon. Best, Ludwig. That's the best I can do. That's the best I can do. If, if that doesn't work, I, we're out of luck. We're out of luck. Okay, okay. Clip it before Surd said, can I bring a knife to SoFi Stadium? Surd, I'm going to have to time you out for that one. Okay, that's... Can't joke about that. Can't joke about that, Surd. I think you're actually coming. What's the link for the tickets? Ludwig.gg. Actually, tickets are... Oh, I, I I forgot. I was supposed to ask you guys. Should I... Do you guys want more tickets? Like, are there people who are on the fence in chat who have not bought tickets yet? I guess this is how I should phrase it. Mogul Money Live. I bought my tickets is option one. I am on the fence. Option two. I will not go. Option three. If you are going to buy tickets, but you're waiting for a payday or something like that, just go option two. Only do option one if you've literally bought the tickets. I ask this because uh, currently Mogul Money Live tickets, I think we are down to about like 600, 500 left of the original 3,500. Most of you won't go. That is to be expected. Most of you live very far away and should not, you know, so that's all right. Don't, I'm not upset. It'd be weird if most of you said you were going because there's 25,000 people in this chat. And if 85% of you were going, we would run out of seats really fast. Okay, so 2% bought tickets. Does this add up mathematically? What is 1% of 25,000? It's 250. No, that adds up. 12% are on the fence. All right, there's a lot of on the fencers, it looks like. There's a lot of on the fencers. Okay. So here's here's what I'll say. Here's what I'll say. If you look at the tickets right now for Mogul Money Live, you can go to Ludwig.gg. It's July 2nd, July 4th weekend at 7 p.m. in uh, in Inglewood, where, uh, where the Rams play at a, at a nice theater. Most of the tickets sold out. These were the tickets that I put on sale. Everything um, in the center here, bang, this circle, all this sold out. These are the, the premium seats. They sold out. All the middle sections pretty much sold out. The right and the left, the wings have a little bit left, but not that much. Um, I could open up this entire section for sale. It's like a balcony. It's like a balcony section. Now, I have sat. I've already done this. I went to every seat. So I sat here. I sat here, 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 and I sat here. I sat in every seat when I did a walk through the theater. They all have a great view of the stage. I could open up about a thousand more tickets for sale, right? Like this section here. Um, and they would be about like 39 bucks a seat. Something like that. Which which is, I think, you know, it's the most reasonably, uh, reasonably priced tickets. Uh, if you guys want... I don't know if it's because I don't want a situation where there's like 500 open seats and then you sit up here and it's the cringe corner with the cringe people because all this it's like you look over and there's no one to your right and you're by yourself. Maybe some people would like that, but I think it's cooler if it's a packed theater. So I don't know if that if uh, on the fencers now that we've done that poll, let's do another poll on the fencers. I'm asking you on the fencers. Would you? Be interested if there were more. Be interested. Okay. Would are you? Oh, shit. Do you want? Do you want more seats? Um. Yes. No. And then the third option is see results. Please click see results if you are not going. But guaranteed not going. Buy me a plane ticket and I'll come. It's worth trust. Uh, look, the problem with that is there's a lot of people. Will you ever do live events for U.S. East Coasters? 
I mean, we'll see, right? I, I guess th it depends how this one goes, I suppose. Right now, confirmed for contestants, by the way, it's me, Saikuno, XQC, Jay Schlatt, Connor Eats Pants, I guess I can just leak. I can just leak. I've almost leaked everyone. Let me just leak. Here's what the show is. I took the six winners of mogul money, and I am putting them all together in a championship bracket of mogul money. I've already leaked all the contestants. I don't feel bad leaking this. Saikuno didn't win. However, he was the highest Are we ready for the jury? point scorer in Pokemon KCOM. Thank you. I guess this is also my announcement that Cody Ko will be there. All right, we're doing it, baby. So anyway, that's the game plan for the show. So it's going to be like the general structure is one condensed version of Mogul Money with three people. Another condensed version of Mogul Money with three people. Take the winner of each. Put them heads up. Thank you for your patience. They will be the final winner of Mogul Money Live. Plaintiff calls Christian Carino, Your Honor. Christian Carino, and um, as with a, a number of the other depositions, this one will start with questioning by Ms. Hurd's counsel. It will and, be streamed, uh, and there will be merch at the event. Questioning by counsel for Mr. Depp. All right, and what's how do you spell the last name? Just for me, just okay. C. Nick will be there. A R I N O. Thank you. An address for the record, and you may use your business address if you feel more comfortable. Sir, Christian Carino, and the work address is 2000 Avenue of the Stars in Century City. And, and that is this guy looks like he's a Hollywood right. guy. And what is your current occupation? I'm a talent agent. I thought he said I'm Italian, <laughs> and which is a job. Give me just a very brief description of your educational background and work experience. Sure. I have a BA from the University of Massachusetts, and my work background is I've been at CAA for approximately 16 years, and before that, I had a 12-year uh, uh, run with two different advertising agencies in New York. And who were those advertising agencies in New York? Ogilvy and Mather and McCann Erickson. Right. Um, now, you indicated that you were a talent agent. Can you please describe what that means? Um, I represent multiple clients and brands. Um, Do hats like that look good? Transactions in the entertainment space. Is that fashionable? I feel like it and doesn't fit. When you say in the entertainment space, what are you including? Just the different genres of entertainment, everything from um, motion picture to television to books to licensing to um, modeling, all the different areas that the agency is operates in. As a talent agent, representing multiple clients. What types of services do you perform for them and what is the objective? Thank okay. You. Yep. I, I I conduct transact business transactions on behalf of clients and brands in the entertainment space. Basically and he gets a what cut. What does that mean? Easy clap. It means 
It, it means I. She's spitting facts. Why the fuck do you have a job? Pitch, transact in contractual agreements between talent and studios, talent and just say the word, man. You're a middleman. Entertainment platforms and individuals. Brands and individuals. He connects. Do he you gets a cut. Any actors? I do work with every different group of talent within the agency, and for each person, it's different. The business that I personally oversee for them. So, in some cases, I am. Um, negotiating contractual agreements for a music artist to go to Las Vegas. In some cases, I'm transacting an agreement for an artist to have a relationship with a brand. In some cases, it's dude. When agents a, talk about their jobs, it feels like they're making it up. A platform like Netflix. It spans the the general platform capabilities that the agency. We, what has we do involved. is we synergize celebrities with is brands. One of the objectives of your representation uh, to build uh, the careers of the individuals you represent. Yes. No. No. That's what agents like to think they do. What they do is they already take well propped up. Um, celebrities and then extract value. Express they don't any make them thoughts or opinions on how you believed any litigation was having an effect on Mr. Depp's reputation or career. Yes. How many times? One that I can recall. And when was that? I have no idea. Years ago. If you expressed to Mr. Waldman that the sooner the litigation is over, the better for Mr. Depp, what were you thinking when you said that? Why did you think that? I think any time somebody is in litigation publicly, a lawnmower, it is at a minimum a distraction to that person's career, and in. A lot of cases, it's uh, it negatively impacts that person because there's attention drawn to them that uh, it is outside of what people want to know about that person. And what do you mean by it? It's too blessed. I mean that the, with somebody who is well known, people don't want to hear they're in a lawsuit with anybody about anything. Hassan's not calling Why me. Why not? I know because I have Hassan's number. Because that's just not what they want to know just or hear like news everyone in LA about or people. And why do you believe that? He texts me. I don't have my cell phone on me. I'm charging it because last night I fell asleep without my cell Based phone charged. Based on my experience in this world for the past 16 years. Why does he use Discord like a normal Zoomer? And when you say it negatively impacts, what do you mean by that? People don't want to hear that the people that they look up to are in litigation. Do you also believe that that impacts career decisions by producers, directors, uh, companies, with brands, things of that yeah. nature? Yes. And, and yeah, that adds up. Because the general public doesn't want to hear that Dude, he has said People the same that thing. they look up to are in litigation. I actually, I don't know if I agree and with that, Chet. 
If I got the sued, I feel like you guys would like it. It takes up in the overall news or coverage of an individual and the less focused ah, that's what I fucking thought. on that person's career, the less interested studios, brands, the general public becomes in that person. And therefore less opportunities? Yes. When you express to Adam Waldman that your opinion that the sooner the litigation is over for Mr. Depp, the better, what did Mr. Waldman say? Uh, to be honest, I don't recall exactly what he said, but something to something like he looks so bored. We're gonna get this over with as fast as we can. I feel like the thing about lawsuits, Mr. Carino, I'm going to ask you to take a look is that it at what fucks up everybody around your life because they all get thrown into it. Do you believe that the Mandel lawsuit posed a distraction to Mr. Depp's career? I, I don't know. I'm going to show you what has Hassan been said I'm a divorce profiteer. That's a lie. I'm Carino a defamation profiteer. Deposition exhibit number five. And as you can see here, it's an article June 21st, 2017, uh, the Hollywood gossip. Do you recall that coming up during that time frame, that issue? No. Have you read or heard of the Rolling Stones? Yes. Have you read or heard of GQ? Yes. Mr. Carino, I'm going to ask you to take a look at what has been marked as Carino deposition exhibit number two, and it's Rolling Stone uh, publication on June 21, 2018. Articles are not that? hearsay. Yes. Do you ever read this article? Parts of it. Are you aware of whether this article in the Rolling Stone, June 2018, that's reflected in Carino exhibit number two, impacted in a negative way Mr. Depp's reputation or career? Elena, I, I don't think it's possible to ask anybody that, that question without having done research among the people who read a specific article. If you're asking my opinion about whether an article like this or this particular Reed article, say. in my opinion, would have a positive or negative effect on somebody's, you know, career, I could potentially answer that. But as to definitively whether an article has or has not had an impact on somebody's career, nobody can answer that question. That's an agent answer. Without research. He wants zero smoke. Specifically. So you Mr. Carino, I think we were just going to start looking at the uh, Carino exhibit number three. This is an article that was published in November of 2018. Uh, do you recall reading this at some point? What publication is that? Uh, this is GQ. Who is the good guy? That's what the trial um, figures out. I probably read part of it, but I don't remember. You had any direct That's contact the whole point. with Ed White or his company? Yes. What this guy had a G Fuel Cup? Contact with Ed White and his company? Payment on, on um, deals where Johnny was owed money? Bill collecting. When you say bill collecting, was it collecting? No, that's a blender on, bottle. On your behalf, or was it trying to collect it's different studios or companies? Uh, the latter. And so, what would your involvement be in those circumstances? Um, Ed, on occasion, Chad, that's a blender bottle. Ask about 
the timing of a payment that was owed to Johnny. All right. And, and were you able to answer those questions? This guy's boring. I got you. Um, I think in all cases, I just referred him to somebody who worked for me to find out what the payment schedule was. Other than these occasions where Ed White would reach out to you uh, to ask when the time of the payment, did you have any other connection or communications with Ed White or his company in connection with Johnny's death? No. Were you familiar with Jake Bloom? Yes. Do you know whether Mr. Bloom ever represented Mr. Depp? Yes. And what was your understanding of the nature of that representation? He was his lawyer. Did you ever talk to Jake Bloom? Yes. And how many occasions <laughs> no! did you speak what made to him Jake laugh? Bloom? Relating to first time he's shown emotion all day. I have no idea. Was it pretty frequently? What does that mean? Well, is it more than ten? Are you asking me if I had approximately ten conversations with Jake over the duration of our relationship? Yes. I actually asked if you had more than 10. I wasn't asking you if it was exactly 10. Dude, okay. this is the driest uh, conversation I mean, of all time. I'm guessing that it was probably less than 10 in total. Was Mr. Bloom still representing Mr. Depp when you started representing Mr. Depp? I believe so, but I'm not sure. And when did you start representing Mr. Depp? Um, I believe it was in 20 late 2016 okay it definitely looks like you're reading it mr um just so Reno, you know are you looking at something to be able yeah, to refresh you, your recollection? you do look like you're looking at I something am. what do you have in front of you a note <laughs> to, that i made to myself of of uh the it's a note from Johnny Depp's lawyers that say, please Johnny say late 2016. Client, and I think I wrote down October 2016. Why are you saying I think? If the note says it, it says Do it. Do you have a recollection of the context of your discussions with Mr. Bloom? Yes. M my recollection of the conversations I had with Jake... Another person cheating on to, Zoom. <laughs> we uh, don't need getting, this. Uh, Johnny and Jake to meet and work out whatever the issues were um, around their disagreement. So you were trying to broker, if you will, a uh, discussion between them to try to resolve their issues? Correct. Were you successful in that? I don't remember whether they ever got together and, and met about it, to be honest. That's a black Ticonderoga now, pencil. Show you what has been it's about 50 cents to produce one of those. No, probably a little higher, 85. Seven. And this is a um, lawsuit that was filed on October 17, 2017. Were you aware it's a good pencil. of this litigation being filed by Mr. Probably Depp the best commercial pencil. On his behalf against Bloom, Hergott, That's Beamer, not mechanical. Et cetera. Yes. And... Don't give me the fucking nerd glasses emoji. Goddamn TikTokers. No. Do you know one way or the other whether the filing of and the ongoing litigation associated with this lawsuit had any negative impact on Mr. Depp's reputation and career? I said no, Elaine. Do you recall whether there was any publicity surrounding this litigation that's reflected uh, in the complaint that's Perino number seven? 
Are you asking me if I'm aware if the Jake Bloom litigation was made public? This is more boring than yes. I thought. This is probably the most boring day. Uh, like, like the way it starts, I think, in a trial like this is the plaintiff originally makes their case. So they have to make their case as to why Amber Heard's article written in 2016 was defamatory. So they get to bring up all the witnesses, and then uh, Johnny's team gets to question them, and Amber Heard's team gets to question them. Uh, and that and that's been happening for the first 10 days. It's actually not 10 days. It's like, I think there's technically been seven days of trial because they had three off days, but still counts in the day, whatever. Um, but eventually... They're going to bring Amber Heard to the stand because Johnny Depp was already on the stand in the first few days, which that was like juicy, sweet, sweet content days. These are much drier than that. Uh, but I imagine I imagine when Amber Heard gets on the stand, that's going to be the hottest day because because outside of that, it's always it's always going to be auxiliary people outside of the main two actors in this, which is Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Son. Legal when will that be? Issues. Unknown. Now, the date on this one is April. And then, and then, the way it works is the plaintiffs will be done bringing up witnesses. And the def I think maybe the defense gets to also bring up witnesses. And I, I don't know if they get to bring up Depp again. Actually, I, I actually can't speak to that because I don't know I'm dumb. He would have been marked as deposition. It'll probably be next week. Exhibit number but it could 11. be longer. And it's dated June Paul Bettany and James Franco on the stand will be good too. Yeah, it's hard to see that little stamp there. It's Why is this pub, uh, public? I think all like civil cases like this are public. It's just that this one is much more public because people care because they're celebrity. Filing the news group, newspapers limited, who owns the Sun, and then Dan Wooten. Uh, were you aware that Mr. Depp brought this lawsuit? I don't think they've asked the for Elon to be on the stand. The Sun, maybe, but I don't Wooten? think so. Yeah. Mr. Crino, I'm going to ask you to take a look at what has been marked now as Carino exhibit number 12. This is a, this is published in the Washington Post on December 18, 2018. Were you aware of this article? Yes. Uh, -ed. Yes. This guy is no content. Karina, when I asked you whether you were... <laughs> but also, that's maybe what you're supposed to be when you're in a fucking trial, is no content. You don't necessarily need to be content, Andy. That's reflected in exhibit number 11 had a negative impact on Mr. Depp's reputation and career. You answered no. What did you mean by that? I meant that there isn't a way for any individual to know whether the filing of a document had an impact on somebody's career, positive or negative, without specific research conducted in exactly that case. The same as in the fa facts that you, because you haven't researched it, you don't know whether it impacted Mr. Depp's reputation or career, correct? Hey. I, I believe I stated that unless someone had done research specifically about the filing of this document and its impact one way or the other, it's impossible to answer the question. I wish I could see the VLC player to see how long this is going to go. Carino number 14. This is the lawsuit that Mr. Depp filed against Ms. Heard. Do you believe that 49 the minutes of this lawsuit reflected in Carino deposition exhibit number 14 and the attendant publicity has had a negative impact on the reputation and career of Mr. Depp? No. Whose side's a lot of it gone? And why not? I, along with the court of public opinion and everything that is being fed to me on social media, am, f am entrenched in Team Johnny Depp. It's not a but I like to think that I'm an open-minded guy enough and that if some evidence comes forward, I'd change it. Coverage. I mean, you're asking me what my opinion is of what Johnny's reputation is today. Is, is that 
what you're asking? Yeah. My opinion of what Johnny's reputation today is one of the finest actors of his generation. That was nice. Has, in your opinion, has Mr. Depp's reputation changed at any point from October 2016 to the present? Yeah, Mordecai got if released. If you're asking me if what I defined as his reputation has changed in terms of his being viewed as one of the best actors of his generation, I, I would say no. So just so I'm clear that I understand your answer, in your opinion, Mr. Depp's reputation is that he is one of the finest this is kind of bad of his generation this is bad for a defamation has case been his reputation since you started representing him in October 2016 it still is today and it hasn't changed during that time frame is that correct the view on his acting ability has not changed well I'm taking your definition of reputation you said what they are known for so i'm taking that specific de definition and i'm asking is there anything other than that mr depp is one of the finest step one. actors of his generation step one that he is known for that has changed between october 2016 and the present The only way I can answer that is as it relates to his professional capabilities, that has not changed. Is there something that has changed that doesn't relate to his professional capabilities? I don't know how to answer that, Elaine. Using your definition of reputation, which is what a person is known for, is there any aspect of what Mr. Depp is known for that has changed between October 2016 and the present. It's, I've stated what I think his reputation is and I've stated that in my opinion, his professional reputation as it relates to the quality of his acting abilities has <laughs> remain unchanged. Do you make any distinction between personal and professional reputation? Yes. And what is that distinction? The difference between what somebody does on screen and off screen. <laughs> what is your opinion of she is what fighting Mr. Depp for was words known for off screen when you started representing him in October 2016? I think what he was known for off screen was a shroud of mystery of who he was because he was not visible to the public. And that was back in October, 2016. Uh, I don't have a specific date for that. All right, but when you started representing him, that was your sense? Yes. Okay. Did that change over time? Yes. And in what way did it change? This is uh, Amber Heard's attorney, I believe. I think. It changed with the exposure of 
that that came with the losses. Although it feels like she's pushing for a Johnny Depp point and here. And the losses that we're talking about are the ones that we've uh, already taken a look at. Exhibit four, seven, eight. She's nine, like really pushing for him to say that his reputation 11, did change, which isn't good for her. I don't know why. And fifteen. No, I mean fourteen. I mean, I, I'm not talking about any one or two specifically in general. Do you believe that Mr. Depp is still a shroud of mystery, not visible to the public? No. And when did that change? I don't know exactly when. Would you say it was cumulative over the period of time as a result of all of the litigation and the publicity ensuing? Probably. Maybe that. Is there any one specific litigation that you believe most significantly impacted on Mr. Depp's personal reputation no longer being a shroud of mystery and not visible to the public? It's My weird it's all public. Is that Amber's is it? accusations would have had the most dramatic impact on his off screen reputation. This is not divorce court. This is a I'm defamation not trial. About any it's a little different. One specific accusation. When you say Amber's accusations, what do you mean by that? I think they've been divorced. Uh, he didn't I mean, finally get the there. things that she's accused Johnny of doing, both in that have been made public. Now, those accusations were made public in the divorce back in 2016, correct? I don't know exactly. When will the trial uh, end? Six weeks. I don't think we're going to watch every single trial day because that'd be a little absurd. I might start, like starting tomorrow, only do the trial days where I know the witness is going to be someone who's interesting. Like a James Franco, a Paul Bettany, an Amber Heard, a Johnny Depp. Divorce action and obtaining a domestic I beat Northern violence Line earlier. restraining order have had a dramatic impact on Mr. Depp's off-screen reputation. Maybe we'll look at the highlights, maybe? Yeah. The only way I can answer that is by saying I don't think filing for divorce ha would have any impact whatsoever. And I'm actually not familiar with the lawsuit to get the restraining order. So I don't know exactly what's in there. But if that was based on claims of or accusations of uh, abuse, then that, in my opinion, would have a negative impact on Johnny's off-screen reputation. Mr. Carino, we were talking about uh, Amber's accusations uh, and, and your view that those would have the most dramatic impact on Mr. Depp's off-screen reputation. Um, Why is it dated for last year? We were talking about this is a one-year-old deposition that is just airing in court now, I think. Yes. Were you aware that the Dan Wooten uh, article published in the Sun included specific accusations by Amber Heard of domestic violence and abuse by Mr. Depp. The, the Sun case, is that what you're asking about? Yeah. Well, yes. first, first the article well, itself by Amber Heard of domestic violence and abuse by Mr. Depp. The, the Sun case, is that what you're asking about? Okay, we only have 17 minutes left in this. Yeah. Well, yes. first, the article itself that was in the paper, the uh, why is J.K. Rowling genuinely happy about employing Mr. Depp, the wife Peter? Yes. Okay. Uh, and you're aware that the, the litigation, the lawsuit, including the particulars of the claim brought by Mr. Depp, 
included the accusation of Amber Heard of domestic violence and abuse by Mr. Depp, correct? Yes. Given that the Mandel lawsuit included He's uh, beer. accusations by Amber Heard of domestic <laughs> violence uh, by Mr. Depp against her, are you able to say how much of Mr. Depp's off-screen reputation was imba- impacted by the Mandel lawsuit? <clears throat> now, you were aware that the op-ed by Dan Wooten and the son included accusations by Amber of domestic violence against Mr. Depp, correct? Yes. Um, are you aware, one way or the other, Call me a son. how much Mr. Depp's off-screen reputation was impacted by the complaint that was filed in this case that contained Amber Heard's accusations of domestic violence and abuse by Mr. Depp? No. Yeah, I got it up, Hugo. Are you aware of how much Mr. Depp's We're gonna watch reputation this later. was impacted as a result of the op-ed in the Washington Post from Amber Heard? No. Are you aware of how much uh, Mr. Depp's off-screen reputation was impacted by the accusations included in the Waldman tweet on May 2020 of the op-ed? No. <laughs> don't don't Are don't quote Johnny Depp to me. Any man, don't do that. <laughs> or I don't, I don't want that. That Mr. Depp lost as a result of the op-ed by Dan Wooten and son. Okay. No. Potato, you, you weasley little liar. Or I don't touch my hair that much. Any kind of business opportunity. Uh, that Mr. Depp lost as a result of the particulars of the claim that Mr. Depp filed. No. Are you aware of any role or business opportunities that Mr. Depp lost as a result of the op-ed by Amber Heard in the Washington Post? No, I was itching. <laughs> Are you aware of any role yeah, I'd hope or it's been a year. business opportunities that Mr. Depp lost as a result of the Waldman tweet from May 2020 relating to Amber's op-ed. No. Is there any other role or business opportunity that Mr. Depp has lost since you started representing him in October 2016? And I'm saying I would say his, um, I, I would say yes. What? The Pirates, the, the next Pirates movie. Do you remember which one that was? Six, seven, I'm not sure what the number is. <laughs> <laughs> it's six, I think Pirates six is the one that's yet to come out. <laughs> um, and why he give a is, fuck about the Pirates movie? What is your understanding of why Mr. Depp lost Pirate Six? All right, Chad, I got to take you off screen. You guys are being too much. You Weasley little My liars. My opinion is that it was related to the accusations um, that Amber has made. And what is your opinion based on? Excuse me. What is your opinion based on? They removed the guy for fucking tweeting. They'll remove a guy for sexual assault um, uh, or assault claims for sure, right? Like they removed, uh, what's his name? For like old tweets. Kidding me? I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear you. Conversations with studios and other executives, both Big Disney wouldn't fuck around. Yeah, James Gunn. I know we got back, but... When you say related to the accusations that were made by Amber Heard against Mr. Depp, are you talking about accusations of domestic violence and abuse by Mr. Depp? Oh, that is kombucha. Yes. Um, Do you guys like kombucha? How many conversations have you had with Studio and other executives? I have no idea. More than five, more than ten? Um, I don't know about more than 10, probably between five and 10. Who do you recall speaking with 
uh, at studios or other exhibitions? Um, Jerry Bruckheimer. Probably mostly Jerry and then colleagues at CAA. I think Jerry's the director. When did right? you first have any conversations with Jerry Bruckheimer about Pirate Six and Mr. Jack? I, I have no idea. Do you recall whether it was in Producer. 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019? I don't. When did you have any conversations with colleagues at CAA? It would have been whenever the decisions were being made about how to cast that movie. I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't know what year that was. I will say I've talked to people from CAA. That's the agency that he works for. It's the, I think, California Actors Agency, something like that. They have a lot of streamers nowadays. I think, like, the um, Dr. Disrespect is a part of it. I think a few others um, are CAA. That, like, like, the most, how do I phrase this? If in your head you are thinking of a caricature of an agent that is the douchiest human possible, I feel like that is every agent that I have met at Creative Artists Agency. <laughs> they're, they're, they're all like fucking L.A. types. Like, yeah, we can expand you to be like the next big thing, but it's like... And did Mr. Like Brock we have a lot of clients. Tell you so. why the studio was having difficulty employing Mr. Jack? Aren't all agents like that? Not in the streaming world, though, because a lot are fucking gaming nerds. Um, no, not specifically, but it was understood. Did you ask? I didn't need to. Why did you think you didn't need to? Because. Everyone was aware of what was garnering the I think it's about attention of the studios and determining whether or not he could be employed. Ten minutes left. When you say everyone was aware, how do you know that? I, I don't know. I just knew. Can you tell me who everyone is? Can you tell me who anyone is? The, the people who would have been involved in feels weird man that's just his that appearance decision. I'm not talking about this guy I'm talking about I, I have talked to people from CAA because they have tried to get me to join their agency and I said no I don't think I talked to this guy the only person at Disney that you spoke with about pirates uh, and employing Mr. Depp was Jerry Bruckman correct? although he does look exactly like what I'm talking about um yes alright and you spoke between 5 and 10 times with Mr. Bruckheimer, and he did not say in any of those conversations the reason we're not employing Mr. Depp is because of Amber Heard's accusations of domestic violence. I'm not pausing until someone gets out of the shower. Right? That's good. Mr. Carino, when we went off for the break, we were talking about your discussions with Jerry Bruckheimer and other executives at CAA um, respecting uh, Mr. Depp not being employed further at Disney and likely not pirates. Um, and I think a question came up right before the break. And so I just want to make sure that I have clear. Did you talk with anyone other than Jerry Bruckheimer at Disney about Mr. Depp not being employed again at Disney or pirates? No. Okay. And was I correct that you, in a certain understanding, you had somewhere between five and ten conversations with Mr. Bruckheim relating to this topic? Um, probably less than that. I, I talk to Jerry regularly, um, but probably not that many on this topic. Okay. And Can was you there restart? anyone no. <laughs> else at Disney that you spoke with at any point? This is like About CCTV footage. Johnny Depp being considered for pirates or not being employable by Disney. No. Okay. And that is that true to the present? Yes. Okay. Uh, and the other discussions that you had, thank you, those Muhammad. were all with executives at CAA. Is yes. That, and that was Brian Lord and Jack Witham, correct? Yes. Anyone else? Not that I can recall. No. Okay. <laughs> Do you, you had indicated 
that you believe that everybody, everyone was aware um, that the uh, impact of Amber's allegations were at the heart of this. Uh, if I'm, I just want to make sure that we're clear since we were just talking about this before the break. Jerry Bruckheimer did not say specifically what it was that caused Disney to decide not to continue with Johnny Depp and Pirates 6 or in other matters, correct? Correct. Well, and I'm trying to reach that it was understood. I'm trying to discover any facts that would have led you to believe it was understood. And if I'm understanding, use the same word, Mr. Bruckheimer didn't tell you that, correct? I, again, it was understood. So I don't recall whether either of us ever said anything specific about why, but it is something within the industry that is understood. Can you tell me whether uh, any other actors did not receive roles or were unemployable because of the Me Too movement allegations? Tough. Other than Mr. Depp, I guess. Not that I work with directly, no. In any of your discussions with Mr. Brookman, did you ask him what Mr. Depp could do to become employable by Disney again, or to be able to get any part of any Pirates franchise going forward? No. Why not? It's a good question. That's an agent's job. Good guess. Because there, in cases like this, there is nothing anybody can do. It is the directive of the studio to, and they have the sole right to make the judgment whether they can continue to employ somebody or not. And your understanding from your discussions with Mr. Bruckheimer is that Disney had made it's Ireland the judgment to decide that they could no longer employ Mr. Depp. Is that correct? Yes, but, but not solely based on conversations with Mr. Bruckheimer. Easy. It was cumulative with the internal and external conversations. What did Mr. Yeah. Lord say that yeah. led you to believe that? That Disney had made the, the decision. Fucking the gold, baby. They did not, were not able to employ Mr. Depp at Disney. Just, just that the decision had been made. What did Mr. Wiggum say? about the Disney same. making the judgment of whether they would not be able to employ Mr. Depp or... Same thing. Okay. Just that they made the decision. Correct. Were you aware of any problems on the set with Mr. Depp during the filming of Pirate's Park? Were sure. you aware of Mr. Depp uh, engaging in alcohol and drug use? being tardy, any of those issues during the filming of Pirate Spot? Um, I'm aware of him being tardy, but he's been tardy on everything in his entire life. Were you aware of whether that was troublesome to Disney during the filming of Pirate Spot? I think it's troublesome to everybody, but uh, everyone has learned how to Holy shit, he's getting roasted. To deal with it. Working around Mr. Depp? Yes. Do you know whether there was anyone on the set of Pirates 5 who wasn't willing to deal with it and was quite irritated about it? No. Were you aware that the filming had to be shut down for a period of time? after Mr. Depp injured his finger? Yes. Were you aware of any disagreements between Mr. Depp and Disney, including Mr. Bailey and others who were on the project, about artistic differences? In other words, 
or Mr. Depp thought something should be this way or something should be that way, and they didn't agree with it? Yes. Okay. What is your understanding of that? There was a difference of opinion on how the film was edited. And what is your understanding of what Mr. Depp thought it should be edited to? That it was dog shit? I don't know how to describe the difference between the Disney edit and Johnny's preferred edit. I think Johnny told me about it, talked about it a little bit. Do you know how well Pirates 5 did at the box office? Not exactly. Do you know whether it was more successful or less successful than earlier Pirates franchise? It actually did pretty well. I think it was slightly less than, it wasn't the most successful installment. It made $800 million. Do you know whether Mr. Depp has a pay or play clause that would pay him even if he was not in the subsequent Pirates set? In six? Yes. I don't think he does. Have you or anyone at CAA on behalf of... Is it a good movie? ...made any efforts with Disney to find any roles for Mr. Depp since he filmed Pirates 5? My efforts were probably primarily around Houdini, which at one point was a film, but other people at CAA for sure did, yes. Who and who were they? I would start with Jack Wiggum. Oh, fucking God bless. We'll now play volume two of Mr. Carino's deposition at which... Okay. Maybe time for afternoon. Sure. Why don't we just close enough to it? Absolutely, Your Honor. All right. Before we get to volume two, let's go ahead and take a 15-minute break. Please not talk to anybody about the case and don't do any outside research. Thank you. No, bro. No. Dude. No. Volume two? Volume one was so good, I don't feel like we need a second one. It's like making a second Morbius, you know? We already knocked it out of the part with the first one. What are we doing here? Come on. Come on. I just should keep it out of one part. Oh. Yo, what is up, brother? Yo, what's I going on? Divorce, defamation, and... It's a defamation violence. lawsuit, not a divorce lawsuit. They got divorced in 2016. Okay. Era of, of all of these things. Uh, so I'm just going to point that out. All right, COVID um, Carrie, you sound a little under the weather. How are you feeling? Yeah, well, I'm sick, okay? And uh, Cutie Cinderella is a wonderful person who reached out and was like, hey, are you okay? Like, I know you have COVID, whereas you, on the other hand, didn't even respond to my text messages, so. Wait, today? Yes, I sent you multiple text messages this morning. My I said, hey, let's uh, let's stream this together. My phone's upstairs because I didn't charge out my phone on me. Why don't you send oh, it on Discord? Oh, my God. Okay, well, all right. Well, you're a Smash player. How are you, you oh. feeling, brother? How are you feeling, brother bear? I'm not feeling great. I'm yeah. feeling, I'm feeling all right. Not great. The mustache looks um, good. You look like you fucked someone in the '80s. Thank you. Um, yeah, I think that's what happened. I, my beard was holding my body together, and the moment I shaved it off, I was like, "Boom, COVID." Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, how it same works. Same thing happened with uh, Samson and Delilah and the Bible. Really? I well, don't know. it was I the don't hair. Know enough about the Bible. It was the hair. Delilah cut Samson's hair. Yeah, it was his power. Oh, I don't know anything about the Bible. I, I wasn't an English major at Arizona. Uh, well, how do you feel about today? A little bit of a dry day, huh? Oh, are you talking about the Johnny Depp uh, Amber Heard trial? I mean, it, it is. It's always a, a dry day. It, this is like a lot of these court cases. People only see from television, right? So they assume that it's going to be like you know jam packed with action and objection, like you know. It's going to be like ace attorney, right? And it's never the case. Obviously, they diligently have to go through every single fucking uh, incident and every single instant and basically cover every angle they can, right? Um, so that's precisely why it's super dry. It's always going to be dry. The reason why I want to cover it regardless is because I feel as though um, there is a lot of people on the internet that are taking a super black and white approach to this. People are trying to cut... 
uh, their own personal worldview around this this trial. They're trying to like make an argument beyond what this individual case of of domestic violence and and defamation looks like. And that's why I want to get all of the facts uh, and and you know cover it with my uh, I think even keeled approach. Yeah, you've always been a both sides guy, bit of a Rogan type. I'm I'm never a both sides guy, but in I think some in- instances there is uh, you know a little bit more of a a gray area rather than the black and white attitude that people have, especially this. What do you what, think, though? Well, well, look, there's, there's, like, there's, uh, I think there's like four major things we got to prove here in a defamation case. I, I think, I think we got like three knocked out. I, I think it's all coming down. What are, what are those? What are those four major things? Oh, defamation case. Do you? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, if you want a pro, I guess you got them here. Uh, defamation. This is why I wanted to have you on, since you're, yeah. you're Mr. Journalism. Well, yeah, in journalism school, I had a I had a law class. We had a law. We had to pass a law class. It's called journalism law. Uh huh. Um, yeah, 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 and I uh, and I took it with now the current dean of the Hoosiers. Right are you googling it? Is that no? Uh, like are you... no, I don't need to Google. I passed the class, Hassan. I don't need to Google it. Uh-huh. So there's a few things. Starting with number one, they said something that was false, purported as fact. Okay, easy, easy. Now, do we think that's happened so far? It's possible. It's possible. I have to comb through the whole article. Number two, it was published. That one's a given. Okay. Number three, obviously they had to have done it recklessly or intentionally, purporting something as fact. And then and then the hardest one's the last one, which is proving actual malice. Now, this is a little bit of a different thing. You know about actual malice is on? Yes. Um, uh, knowingly and with the intent to distribute false information, knowing full well that there could be damages and also, uh, knowing the truth itself. That's how, that's how they need to prove actual malice in this circumstance. Um, I don't think that this is a straightforward defamation suit, which which, by the way, just not to cut you off, that is only for public figures. All right. Of course, New York uh, times versus Sullivan, 1964 case. Um, that's where the, the, the Supreme court nine Oh decision struck down the, uh, the Montgomery police station in their defamation lawsuit against New York times. So uh, public figures only for that, which is why it's relevant here, obviously to public figures. Go ahead. Sorry. By the way, yes, uh, Dark Rogue is correct. The judge clearly said not to do research during the break, and we are not listening to the judge right now. We're being bad boys. Dude, here's the thing about it. I feel like <laughs> if you're a juror in this, there is zero way you go home and you don't read about this trial. If you go to the grocery store, the magazines are calling this the trial of the century. Yeah. It, I, it would be so um, hard. I mean, this is this is like definitely in the public consciousness in a way that like mainstream media hasn't really picked up on, which is really interesting. I feel like mainstream media, for the most part, was pretty much on Amber Heard's side uh, from the jump, uh, all the way from like the dish rag, the the sun and the mirror and all the tabloids, all the way to basically you know, even like CNN, MSNBC, and all these other like uh, liberal institutions, right? Um, however, maybe because of that, they're not really covering it as much. I don't see it. I don't see it on uh, plastered in the same way that I see it plastered all over my TikTok feed and everywhere on the internet. Now, obviously, that could have something to do with my own personal algorithm preferences, but I do think that um, there's something to say about this. Like, there is a lot more of this coverage on the internet than it is on uh, on mainstream media. I mean, I think court of public opinion flipped too, because it was like Amber Heard yes. released a story. And then, uh, like, everyone was like, oh, maybe Johnny Depp sucks because everyone else who's been called out sucks. And then there are a few people being like, I really like pirates, so I'm with them. But it, when the video came out, and then I think it was, the like, the video of her abusing him, and that was, like, on, on audio, I think that's when everyone flipped. Yeah, I think the two instances of audio, at least for me, uh, someone who didn't really, co- like, didn't really pay attention to this at all, Someone who routinely thought that this was just a bunch of fucking weirdo incels that are like promoting this case. I rare, I didn't really cover this at all throughout the years. People would always bring it up, though. People in my community would come in here and be like, "Dude, you have to cover the Amber, uh, you know, the Amber Heard Johnny Depp story." And I always thought they're using this as an opportunity to just like cut some incel shit to say like women are liars and cheaters and we shouldn't listen to them. And there's certainly a lot of that going on, but this specific incident is definitely one where, uh, you. I think it, unless you're like completely brain broken, 
and think that, you know, men are incapable of being abused in a relationship, you're going to realize like, oh, fuck, maybe we didn't have all of the information. And maybe Amber Heard specifically in this circumstance was abusive to Johnny Depp. Yeah, I, I don't know. Court of public opinion. I did a poll yesterday and I was like, all right, who who do you think is correct here? Pretty early on day nine. And it was 97% to 3% Johnny Depp Amber Heard. I also yeah. did a poll right after. Do you like cookies? Yes, no. 90% to 10%. So he's beating out cookies right now. Yeah, I mean, that's, it makes sense that people are, you know, people are, people love vindication, right? Love an underdog story. And it's ironic to say that about a guy who's like 60 years old and like super famous and super rich. But it does seem like he was wronged in this situation, wronged by both the media and also certainly wronged by Amber Heard, who I believe was abusive in this relationship from all of the evidence that we have seen thus far and certainly utilized the patriarchal constructs that revolve around how our society has been formed to her advantage by claiming that no one would believe Johnny Depp, even if he did come out and say he was abused. I agree. I think it was a bit of a juicy moment. Yeah. Um, but I don't think it's as much of a juicy moment as like, do I think Johnny Depp also, whether it was retaliatory or uh, personally fucking malicious uh, or a consequence of his like own uh, demons that he was battling at the time, do I believe that he was also uh, physically abusive in at least two of the 14 circumstances? Yes. I think that the private jet incident um, and and... Like, there are two cases where there are actual other uh, witnesses involved, uh, where Johnny Depp was uh, at least involved in somewhat of a physical altercation. But there are, is an overwhelming amount of evidence in the other way. Just where, small at chat. Uh, Amber Heard was violent and in way more meaningful ways uh, than, than Johnny Depp was. So yeah. I do think that it, it's not as mutual as people present it, but could say it's a mutually toxic relationship dude i think they're like fucking top five cringiest couples of all time like just reading through they're, like they're theater texts. kids they're so fucking whack it, it's it it's like uh i don't i don't i don't really remember reading about them much when they were together but it, it feels like the same shit i read about now about like uh who's that fucking couple megan fox and uh machine gun kelly Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're going to I think they're going to murder someone probably. Yeah. Like they're going to sacrifice like a like a child at the Ohio gas station that Machine Gun Kelly was formed in. Yeah. Theater kids shouldn't be allowed to marry each other. I think you need one straight man in the relationship. Not like literally straight, but. Oh, Ludwig, Ludwig coming out <laughs> against gay rights. Yeah, you no, always no, need one. No, straight I, mean, guy. No, I mean, like a comedic straight man, please. <laughs> yeah, I see how it is. I'm just saying don't call it marriage. Bud's chat does not like you. I fucking doubt that. Um that would be My very chat surprising. generally likes you. Yeah, there's no shot. If you think that, you're probably very sensitive to any kind of criticism I get on the internet because compared to other communities, Lud's community probably likes me the most. I think you just um, talk a lot. That's all. <clears throat> yeah, it's what I do for hours you're just a day. A talker. Okay. So Here's the thing, right? All of this starts, they get married, they fucking meet each other. He separates with his partner of 14 years, Vanessa Paradis. This is Johnny Depp. Vanessa uh, Paradis, I pronounce the S. Just, it's, it's Vanessa Paradis, okay? It's a French name. Yeah, know, Vanessa little... Paradis. 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 Fucking idiot. <laughs> Sorry, continue. Yeah. Vanessa Paradis. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, that's they when I started to hate Johnny 2000... Depp, by the way. What? That's when I hated Johnny Depp. Why? Because he fucking left Vanessa Parody and their two kids and then got with a girl 20 years younger than him. It's cringe as hell. Yeah, and people were doing the, like, age gap thing. But, like, bro, she was 27. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck at that point. If you're over no, the age of 25, that's still there weird. is no age gap. No, that's no, weird. No shot. No, what are you no fucking shot. talking about? He's like, oh, have you seen MASH? And then she's like, uh, no, I'm on TikTok. No shot. Once you're, once you're 25 plus... Once you are 25 plus, straight up is over. Your brain is fully formed. Like, it's more so the older the fucking male gets in that relationship or the older the other partner gets, the more exploitative it is, in my opinion, the more predatory it is, in my opinion, on the other side. Wait, what do you Like, mean? I think a 25-year-old, uh, obviously, there's different circumstances like, you know, 
uh, you know, a boss dynamic or something like that. But if you are two random people on the planet and one is like 27 and the other is 60, like who gives a fuck? I, I think it's weird. I'm not, I think 23 years is a long time apart. And I think it's almost always the man being 20 years older than the woman. And, fu and it's fucking, it's just men trying to fucking, and you know what? I don't think they have that line. I don't think they're like, oh, it's 27. I think they couldn't tell the difference between a 27 and a fucking 22 year old. You know, and then you get That's crazy, and then you, and then you I get, don't agree with that. I think you, that a 25 year old woman, uh, it knows exactly what the fuck she's doing. Like, there's no, I don't, I don't like to infantilize women. Uh, on I'm my saying side the man the who's broadcast. 60 be like, 25 years old. year old women are victims in every circumstance. Like, no, I'm not saying they're victims, I'm saying the guy's weird. I, look, I'm not saying the relation, I, the and, guy is weird to me and, if they're 60 and trying to get with a 27, six or five year old. And I, even if they draw the line at whatever they draw it at, I don't think they would even be I able to tell the I think the weirder the thing is leaving your wife and children. Um, I think that is worse overall than, like, you know, marrying or dating someone who's 23 years younger than you but still 27 years old. It's just midlife crisis weirdo shit. Like, I, I don't want to die. Let oh, me, for sure. I mean, I it's... it's <clears throat> I think it's weirder. I mean, I think it's weirder what, uh, for example, Leonardo DiCaprio does. Uh, dating everyone under the age of 25. Still legal, but definitely under the age of 25. But... Like I said, once you're over the age of 25, I, I my rule is like it's crazy. It's like everything is free and under God's eyes. Okay, so you think you think Hugh Hef is chill? No, Hugh Hefner is weird for many different reasons. But like but, specifically when he like marries Hugh a 24-year-old. Hugh old. Hefner when he was like 90, he was like dating a 25-year-old. I think a 25-year-old knows what she's doing more than Hugh Hefner is. He's just fucking he's like He's lost his mental faculties at that point. You know what I mean? So you only care if you think the woman does not know what she's doing more so than if the yeah, guy I is think being like weirder. grooming or rather like the level of involvement and influence that a person can have over the other person is what's important in the situation. Once your brain is fully formed, you know what the fuck you're doing. You're a grown ass woman. You want yeah, to I guess I don't care about like I think that's obviously a different different circumstances can change that dynamic, of course. I in my mind they're just weird and I will think of them as a weird person who I just lose respect for but I don't necessarily think they're doing something wrong I just think they're 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 weird. Yeah. It's always funny when I have a chat full of like 19-year-old girls who literally beg me to fuck them in my DMs which is never going to fucking happen who then turn around and go, "Oh, it's so creepy. I'm 30 years old, dumbass. Stop fucking sending me Stop sending me weird fucking uh, DMs if you're going to sit here and be like, oh, his son is defending 25-year-olds getting fucked by 50-year-olds. No, I'm just saying that they're literally, like, they're adults, okay? They're fucking adults. Both parties are adults. Yeah, that's why I take a lot of effort to not um, sexualize myself. Like, I don't shave my unibrow sometimes. I shave my unibrow all the time. You always got to do that. You got to put a little effort in, you know, just to make sure you can thwart. It's those also, out. I, I look, it, it's just weird. It's weird that like the internet gets fucking crazy with like uh, age gap, age, age gap, age gap is so much. It's so creepy. It's like, dude, it's twenty five plus again. Anything below twenty five, you can absolutely fucking. But that, you know, that's it's, fair it's a game dumb like, rule because I don't think if I sh if uh, let's say I I get ten women legally and consensually and I rope them up and I put them in front of you. I, I in their in their twenties. I don't think you can be like twenty five, twenty five, twenty five, twenty five. Wait, what? What is? That? I don't think what, you wait, could tell who is play? or isn't twenty five years old just by looking at them in a lineup. Oh, the oh the differences. I mean, the okay, but we're not talking about like physical differences. We're talking about mental differences. I think there is like I think once you're twenty five, your brain is formed. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> No, you're still dumb as fuck when you're 25. Yeah, certainly, but it, most people are dumb as fuck. At least they are, you know, at least they have their mental faculties. I guess it depends. I don't know. It depends on the person. I think I'm still dumb as fuck. People are crazy. They're saying, are you being French right now? Dude, no, I'm not talking about 13-year-olds, okay? Calm the fuck down. Okay, I'm first talking of about all, they don't do that in France, okay? Yeah, only the philosophers. All right. No, well, uh, that's, 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 that's about the age of consent on the arbitrary nature oh, it's of the age of consent. Yeah. It's like a prison. 
Le Age of Consent is like a prison. Oh, it's more of a Kevin Quaz accent. I, I resent that. I resent that idea. Or am I being, yeah. Am I uh, being a uh, francophobe? A little francophobic, I would say. All right. And if you think uh -huh. the French are bad, uh, you know, come on. The Japanese, seriously. Okay, that's also true. Straight up. I think it's weird as fuck. Um, what's your opinion on lollies? On what? Lolly. Is this gonna be like a fucking lol lol these nuts? No, it's like um, uh, oh lollies, ew, yeah. ew, ew, no, ew, no, it's nasty as fuck, dude, ew. Okay, makes sense. Oh yeah, the fucking little uh, the the little mm -hmm. girls that they draw and mm -hmm. it's like sexual, mm -hmm. it's fucking mm -hmm. gross, mm -hmm. straight up, mm -hmm. ew, straight up, yikes, mm -hmm. straight up, fucking gross. Mm -hmm. But you got to respect the art a bit, you know, at the end of the day. No, I don't. I think it's fucking weird. I think it's so goddamn weird. You were being real French right now. It's, it's culture. Uh -huh. <laughs> is it is actually the 3,000 year uh, vampire and not actually at four years old. Dude, your French accent is not bad, but it's deteriorating fast. Uh -huh. I, well, I have COVID, which is, have you, yeah, this is my card. I, I put the COVID card up. Is every this your time. first COVID experience? Yelling. What? This is your first bout with COVID-19? Yeah. I've been ducking it. I've been fucking avoiding it like crazy, dude. I've been dodging it. I yeah. Uh, you, you look, you'll be good. I hope so. I don't want to get like long COVID, you know? Yeah, that I, would I am be a, afraid of that. Cutie had it for like a month, I think. Yeah. Some side effects. No, I know. I I know. I was I was checking in on her, making sure that she was all right, unlike you checking in on me. I checked in on you just now, you know, and, and yeah, it seems like you're doing yeah. right. After I if you're good enough publicly. to go live, they say. What have you been doing? How, how long are you going to stream like six hours again or? No, I've been doing that. I've been, um, I streamed like eight hours yesterday. It felt great. Um, and honestly, it's, uh, not like the end of the world. I don't, I haven't lost my sense of taste or smell. Um, I'm just tired. I'm definitely more tired than I would be. The only part that sucks is I can't work out. And I can still breathe, too. Like, I don't think my ox oxidization, is that the right word? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Levels are deteriorating. Have you done a little sun? You should get some, some vitamin D in you. Yeah, you no, I've been walk. taking suppies, too. Vitamin D suppies, vitamin C, zinc. All right, there you go. There you go. You're getting there. Maybe a little ivermectin for your body. Yeah. Couldn't hurt. That's what I, I tried to get some ivermectin because I wanted to make a YouTube video of like, you know, trying it on for fun. Um, yeah. And uh, ivermectin the, tier list. the pet feed store would not allow mm, it. That's tough. Goddamn lip tards, brother. <laughs> They're holding you down. Okay. It's starting again. All oh, right. by the way, fun fact, this guy, I'm pretty sure this guy, the, the, the talent manager, agent guy, yeah. his house, I almost bought. Really? I mean, I didn't want to buy it because it was fucking gross, the mirrors. But uh, it was one of the houses that my realtor showed me. Interesting. Did you get offered by CAA? I assume they, they've come up to you at some point. I used to be with CAA back in the day before I switched over to WME. Mm, they're cringe a bit. I think they're too much of an old institutional uh, agency. And they don't do a good job with... Um, they don't do a good job with like digital talent. Uh, yeah, no. I also, I would even go so far as to say the same thing about WME, low key, high key. <sighs> Out of the big three, I would say UTA is probably the best. Blasting his at, own agency. At, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. I don't give a fuck. There you go. Well, yeah, that's probably fair. All right, I'll let you go back to it. I'm going to watch. Someone made me a Radon helmet from Elden Ring, and I'm going to watch their video. Oh, that's fucking sick. Yeah, I'll send you a picture of it. Anyway, feel better. And uh, uh, All right. Let me know if you want to keep talking about this case. Yeah, I'll call you probably. I, I don't. I want to do the days where there is an interesting witness rather than um, uh, CAA Andy. But the days that I'm there, I'm done. I have a call. I mean, this is still important, I think. But uh, all right. All right. Peace. Peace, brother. Maybe it's important, but it is a bit dry. And I don't feel like I can add value to it. Bias on. All right, chat, we're not going to watch the second half of the CAA interview. I believe this is Depp's team uh, talking with the, the agent, but I don't think there's a shit ton of value from it. 
But I did get this I video. I never really introduced myself. My name's Nick. Which we should watch. We should watch this video. I made Ludwig's Radon red main helmet in real life. Nick, and I'm a full-time sculptor and fabricator. And in between the jobs I pay the bills, I sometimes make things for streamers like this. No, he made the bombs! No! No way, dude. I don't know what that is. Dude. What you watching? Nick, this is sick. This was the fucking... Holy shit. This was the fucking dude who 3D printed the fucking monkey nuts. Oh, that's sick, man. Nick Martinelli. Fan fucking tacit, dude. So cool. Was that a ray gun? So fucking cool. I had seen Ludwig was marathoning Elden Ring, so I figured I'd ask. Hey, Lud, I want anything custom from the game, like an item or a weapon. I need a challenge for YouTube content. Um, This Riverblade Katana. Forged by the God. Ooh, or the helmet. Since I'm already planning on making a certain sword from Demon Slayer, I'm gonna go with the helmet. When I started yeah, this I'll build, upload the game was so new. Jet, for my Elden Ring VOD, I'm gonna upload it myself today. Because so I'm gonna be done stream pretty early today. I'm just gonna do it myself and because my uh, my my VOD editor was struggling. So I'm just I'm just gonna fucking let my computer chug all night and do it. Almost no reference for Radon's helmet. I'm talking there was no screenshots, very little gameplay. And the wiki just had this picture. Luckily, I got a friend who had the armor set to send me some pictures. So with the limited resources, I sculpted this and sent it over to the resin printer. And I made this, a little scale model, or a maquette. I'm actually going to be giving this away, so if you want to know how to win your own mini red main helm, which can fit on most size kittens, make sure to watch to the end to find out <laughs> how. It's the most badass kid of all time. large ornate pieces for the next 36 hours, I'm going to make the base, which is pretty much just a mix of a Corinthian and a Spartan helmet. Now, obviously, you don't need a plasma cutter to do this, but it's a little bit quicker. And with a little bit more time, you could use shears or tin snips. It is weird to me that water can cut things, but I do understand it. Is that water cutting? Am I being dumb? It's plasma? Why is there water? To cool it down? Isn't plasma just the fourth state of matter? I'm not gonna ask any more questions. This is huge! What a fucking huge helmet! This already looks kinda done. Chat, this Friday, me and Jerma... Oh, I forgot to tell you guys about this. I'm actually going to need some help, boys. Me and Jerma are going to be doing a duel. I think we talked about it during the Risk stream. But we're going to have our viewers duel his viewers. So my viewers, you guys, are going to duel his guys in Elden Ring. So I need our best like and brightest soldiers. I'm going to talk to Jerm about the format. We have to make a mold so we can cast these out of metal. The return of Shady, maybe? What's the level cap? I'll figure out all the details tomorrow, and we'll probably do maybe like a tryout. Like maybe I'll boot up the game and, and try to have some of you guys fight each other to see who our warriors will be. I'm going to be making a two-part mold. So the first step is encasing half of the object in clay. Some beautiful clay. I suck at PvP. I'll play for Germa. To make sure there's no leaks when it's time to pour the metal. He's picking his own people. I don't know level cap in those things. I'll figure it out tomorrow. I'm assuming PC. Is it crossplay? We're going to mix up about $150 worth of silicone, then pour it over the 3D prints and clay. I would not have known that was $150 worth of silicone. That's crazy. It's that expensive? That's nuts. After everything's cured 12 hours later, I remove the clay. 
and I use foil tape to make a dam around the outside, which forms the other side of the mold. Oh, that's smart. Now all we gotta do is mix up another hundred dollars worth of silicone. Oh, pour it feels in the mold, bad, man. And wait another twelve hours. Feels bad, man. Doesn't feel fun to use silicone. He said 150 gallons. You do not know what 150 gallons looks like, my now guy. Now that everything's cured, I demolded 3D prints, and I cut a place to pour the metal and some holes for the air to So if out. it's just fucked, then you just lose $150. Like, what if it's just fucked? This is a 30-pound ingot of a bismuth and tin alloy. It runs about 10 bucks a pound. And while you're doing the math, I think it's a good time to mention that I have a Kofi account. So if you want to help out the channel, or just buy me a coffee, the link's in the description. $300. $300. guy melts bismuth oh shit all right this seems very lightweight i shouldn't use this helmet in actual war it looks like a big mouth <laughs> a cool thing about the main ingredient in this alloy bismuth is that it's diamagnetic, which means under the right circumstances, you could diamagnetically levitate a neodymium magnet almost indefinitely. What? What the hell were those words? The cool thing about the main ingredient in this alloy, bismuth, is that it's diamagnetic, which means under the right circumstances, you could diamagnetically levitate a neodymium magnet almost indefinitely. You can diamagnetically levitate a magnet indefinitely. Isn't that super? Um, I don't know. Anyway, that's cool. I think this is pretty fitting for Radon. I mean, he studied gravity magic just so he could ride his horse no matter how big he got. <laughs> okay. This guy has been doing really well so far. I want to preface by saying this. Using a metal toilet paper holder and just pouring it freehand from a colander does not seem to be the right play. Like, like... You gotta have a little funnel. This is crazy. Actually, this strat's kind of five head. That's kind of a funnel. Okay, so it definitely fucked up, uh, fucked up a lot, right? Is that is that chill? I guess you can just melt it again, so it's fine. It's expanding. It's going to be so rough, right? That actually looks really good. Did he say what the helmet part is made out of? No, it's not steel, is it? It's aluminum, right? So I ended up getting two sets of steel? horns from my bone and horn guy down in New Mexico. And I think I'm going to go with the less chody of the two. And wait, two wait, sets wait. of horns from my bone and horn guy down in New Mexico. Who is a bone and horn guy? And why is this? I guess it is a little chodier. So I ended up getting two sets of horns from my bone and horn guy. Down is this a real horn? Should I feel bad? Is this a, like a chill horn? Is horn trading chill? Oh, it's cow horns? That's chill. Down in New Mexico. And I think I'm going to go with the less chody of the two and go with these long ones. Rhino horn trading's not chill, but cow horn trading is fine. Because we eat them? Yeah, because we fucking literally raise them to murder them and eat them. So if we're going to get mad that we're not using their horn, that's a little bit of a weird road to end on. This is also part of the argument that I am a fan of, where you should be allowed to have sex with cows. Not that I want to have sex with the cows. But if we're okay with literally murdering them in front of their friends and family, uh, you're not allowed to be against bestiality and a meat eater. That's all I'm saying. Become vegan. This is my pro-vegan sentiment of the day. Only vegans don't fuck cows. The rest the of you guys game, are cowpunkers. helmet is golden. So we're going to need to spray this metal coating on the helmet. It's basically brass powder suspended in resin that retains its properties when it's cured. I ended up doing two coats of the metal coating. Then I sprayed liver of sulfur, which if you don't know, 
will tarnish or patina the brass that's in the room. That's out of pocket? Oh, so you don't like having a cow inside of you? What that mouth do, huh? Think about it. Resin, which will darken the whole thing, allowing me to buff the high points and add a ton of contrast to the helmet. All right, we're in the home stretch now. All that's left is Radon's red mane. Some would say the most iconic part of the red mane helm. I was initially going to use something called Lady yeah, Amber's pheasant feathers, but for the amount I needed, it came out to $750. So I ended up going with this artificial pampas grass. I think it worked out better this way because there's metal rods inside each one of these bundles. Why does uh, having sex with a cow make you uncomfortable, but literally raising a cow to be slaughtered not make you uncomfortable? So the hair is completely poseable. Because food? We have more than enough resources to be able to eat a plant-based diet. All humans. Be easy. With as much nutrients. You kidding me? We don't need to eat cows. You're lying to yourself if you think we need to eat cows. I'm using a little bit of red spray paint here to make the red mane a little bit more red and stiffen it up a little bit. And that's pretty much it. Chat, let's do a let's do a one month no meat challenge. Who's in? Who's on board? One month no meat. Not vegan. That's too fucking hard. And expensive. I guess we're on one the month, cups. dude. Remember to stick around to the end to find one out. One month, you wouldn't do hunt. that? You're so soft. Lacrimosa, Mozart. Dude, that looks amazing. Pescatarian. I mean, we really don't give a fuck about fish as a society. No, vegetarian. Damn, cool shots. You gotta be somewhere in the South, right? If I had to guess. Georgia? That was a lot of work, but I think it turned out pretty good. If you're wondering, yes, you can wear the helmet, but it's extremely heavy. It's about 16 pounds, unlike this small helmet, which you can win. All you have to do is be subscribed and comment on this video. 16 pounds? He said he's from California. Okay, tight. I'll randomly select somebody in the next couple weeks and send it out to you. Hey, Ludwig, send me a DM on Twitter so we can figure out how to get this to you. I'm okay, trying to do less guys. boring commercial work and more fun stuff like this. So my commissions are open. If you know anybody who'd be interested, send them my way. And if you have a streamer you think I should make something for, Ooh. leave them down in the comments or send them this video. Thanks for watching. Good video. That was an easy watch. Like chat. Here's the video. Oh, thank you, sir. You're already linking it in the goddamn. Uh, where is your Twitter.com? Follow me on Twitter.com. Follow me on Twitter.com. All right. Done. I'll send you a DM after a stream. So I don't fuck up and leak anything. That looks really good, though. It's got some nice um, texture. Um, oh, by the way, did anyone watch the, uh, the poker thing yesterday? We did the poker thing yesterday at, um, all right, let's see. Hold up. Hold up. I have an idea. Hold up chat. Everybody, I'll leave you this clip. I'll be right back. I have a, I have a little sneaky idea. Where they're all the same shape. So if you have... Oh. 
Does he, is he trolling? Sakuna's so telling the truth. Someone does have to have Someone a flush. No. Someone has it, surely. Okay, I'm out. I will be out. Avali, nice fold, buddy. Avali makes a good fold. The second pair, she did have a flush draw, but a crummy one, and she got out of the way. All right, here it is. Two, two sixes. So two seconds. So he doesn't, he doesn't have it, right? Board pairs, but not the one that Slicker was looking for. All in. I pull, I pull. Wait, you going all in? Yeah, I'm all in as well. Ah, oh, poor Slicker. I'm all in. Wait, what I'm all in. All right, open. What if he has it? Show it show Two, it. please, please. Force? Guys? I did say okay, someone has a flush. <laughs> oh, poor Slicker. Someone has it. Just forgot to mention it was me. Oh, God. Saikuno's a fucking insane man. All right, let me try. Let me try this. here is it just me uh just get it get it get it ah uh, get it oh got it get it uh. So how has your day been, guys? Oh, you can watch the whole thing on Botez's channel. This was on Botez's channel yesterday. It was me, Slime, Botez, Cutie, Slicker, Saikuno, Leslie, Ovali, May, and Margot uh, all playing poker. And we all had like $5,000. I lost all of it. And, uh, and then an extra $2,000. And I think Slime made like $10,000. And then the Botez, Alexandra, who ran the damn event, walked away with uh, $15,000. Slime deserved the trophy? I mean, not really, right? Because Botez could have, if she wanted, taken seven k from Saikuno and didn't. Right? Like she could have. She had the nuts. And he had two pair, top two pair. Slime gave away 2K. She gave away 7K. That's all I'm saying. Uh, but I think, I think chat, I, I'll have more information tomorrow for sure. This Sunday, I'm trying to do a really big poker game on my stream. I'll have more information tomorrow, but we did it yesterday and it was pretty fun. And I have a few people who I think are down. IRL. Sunday night. Sunday night, like 8 p.m. I asked Miz, he's not free. But no commentators, please. You kind of need commentators. You can't, the table talk is too hard to hear. The commentator last night was great, Jamie. I didn't get to hear it, but I heard she did really well. So I, I would I would definitely want her again. Oh, speaking of, yo, Jimmy, I'm live.
Oh, hey, okay. Uh, I need to. Me. I need to. Uh, I need to ask you a question. Okay. Will you, will you 100% come this Sunday to play poker for $100,000? Uh, what day is this Sunday? What day of the month? It's uh, May 1st. May 1st. Uh, <laughs> uh, can you press the mute button real quick? Okay, yeah. Yeah, I can mute you to stream. Uh, it's unmuted? Yeah. Why, of course I'll be there. I didn't even hesitate for a second. Of course, buddy. All right, let's go. Uh, I'll send you the commercial flight details tomorrow. You have two stops, one in Michigan, one in Arizona. It should take about Wait 12 minutes. Wait a minute. What? You're, you're, uh, no, no PJ? Oh, no. Oh, oh, P a, P a PJ. Dude, funny thing. They stopped doing them. Oh, like just PJs in general, they just don't exist anymore? Weird thing, they only do west to east. So like you can still get me them, but I can't get them for you coming out west. Oh, just I wonder doesn't... I wonder why no one ever told me that. Huh. Okay. Liberal media. Um, Guess Elon's okay. in, so maybe it'll be more. Okay. Yeah, because he bought Twitter. Mm -hmm. just, they, they stopped going that direction. Finally, okay. the facts can be released. So. Yes. God. Yes, freedom of speech. God, God now. bless. We can expose the private jet industry. Been okay, waiting. so, uh, it, wait, what, are, what did I just agree to? I completely. You're gonna everything. come play poker on my stream Sunday at 8 p.m. with Phil Helmuth, Slime, and others, for a hundred thousand dollars. Hundred thousand dollars buy-in, right? Uh huh. Buy-in. Okay, so the pot will be like half a million dollars. No, it'll be nine hundred thousand. We're gonna have a full table. Oh, nice. Yes, it's, bro. Make it a million at that point, or just make everyone play with 110 grand. I assumed you would do something crazy, and maybe you'll just rebuy, but or we can just have a 100 thousand dollar bonus. Oh, I'm, I'm oh, rebuys are a thing, so it's like a cash game, not winner. It'll be all. a cash game, it'll be a cash game with a oh, bonus perfect. for whoever has the most Let's chips. Go, okay, no one tell my mom, or she'll get mad. <laughs> okay, uh, so yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. That's great. Good this to know. Fun. Good to I'm know. I'm excited. This is good. Really? You're going to have nine people uh -huh. in for 110. How many of them are going to be pros, though? People with that throw this kind of money around on poker are like, the, like uh, the probability of pot odds, uh, I should fold right here. Like, we're going to have a bunch of those. Mm -hmm. I like it when people are just stupid and they're like, oh, 7 2, all in. Well, we have, I'll, I'll leak someone else, Tom Dwan, who's kind of good. Uh, just a little good, you know. Probably only played twenty million hands of poker in his life, more than me and you combined times a thousand. Mm -hmm. But I bounce it out because XQC will also be there. Oh, okay. There you go. Is he bad? He's from Quebec. He's Canadian, so you know, probably. Okay. Can we have a special rule where if someone wins with seven two, the worst hand in the game, everyone at the table owes them a thousand dollars? Yeah, I'm down. Okay, then I'll play. All right. <laughs> On board. All right. See you there. All right, see you Sunday. Fucking feels good to get that guy back. Boomed his ass, baby. Woo! Anyway, chat, we're going to do that Sunday at 8 p.m. Me, Mr. Beast, Phil Helmuth, I believe XQC will be there. I think Tom Dwan will be there. He hasn't super confirmed yet, but I believe we've reached out to him. Uh, $100,000 buy-in cash game. Uh, to be very clear, poker is gambling, but I don't care. I love the game of poker. I think it's super fun to play, but it's 8 p.m., all right? So if you're not a fan of gambling, no worries. Bedtime anyway. <laughs> Rich get richer? Well, you know that a lot of us will have to lose money, right? The ri ri Some rich get richer and some rich will get less richer how it'll work <laughs> can you afford to buy slimes 100k? yeah i'm buying slimes 100k buy-in can i afford it if he doesn't lose <laughs> if slime and i both lose all our money things will be a slightly more awkward yeah i guess you could phrase it like that it, you know it won't won't be the greatest experience ever. Is there someone else that's a streamer that you think would be down for this chat? 
I'm down to get as many streamers as possible. I think the less pros, the better. Pay money, Wubby? Would Wubby do it? There's no way. Charlie would, but he he doesn't fly. He doesn't fly on planes. I'll call Wubby right now and ask. Because I wouldn't mind playing with Wubby. I'm calling him right now. Okay. Let me call Charlie. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me let me call. Let me call someone else here. Who else would play? Maybe. Does Toast play poker? Let me call Toast. Toast, I am live on stream. I have a question for you. Yeah, what's up? Do you know how to play poker and enjoy the game? Uh, I do know how to play poker. I don't enjoy the game. You don't enjoy the game? I mean, like, I would play it for money, but I don't do it at all. Okay, this next question is going to be a little bit tough then. Would you like to play this Sunday with a, a cash game with a few streamers? It's just a $100,000 buy-in. Are you are you live right now? Yeah, I'm live. It's just a one hundred thousand dollar buy in this Sunday. It's not good. You want to say hi? Nick, what are you playing? Oh, Lily, do you want to do you want to play poker this Sunday? Okay, get the phone back. Get the phone back. What? What? Um, what? Uh, this Sunday, huh? What? Yeah. Uh, this Sunday. I, yeah. I think I'm free. Okay, T Toast, I don't know if you heard. It, it, it is a $100,000 cash game. Is it still chill? Wait, wait. Like, I need to bring $100,000? What? Yeah. To play. Where y you want me to show up Sunday with 100 k in cash? You could wire it or cash, either one. Post? No, I'm still here. I just um, I don't I don't have that kind of liquid on me. Okay, that's you know that's 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 fair. That's fair. I figured I'd ask. I figured I'd ask. Um, so, so, how many people have agreed to this? So far, do you, Mr. Beast, mm -hmm. Phil Helmuth? I don't know who that is. He's a professional poker player. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. Me. Mm hmm Uh, XQC. Okay, it's the uh, richest man on Twitch. Okay, okay, Slime, your your roommate. Yeah. All right. So five. Not bad. How many people did you ask? Uh, excluding. You or I, yeah, exclude excluding me. The only other person I've called and asked is Tom Dewan, who's another professional poker player, and the Botez oh. sister, Alexandra. Who else and what did they say? They, well, Tom didn't get back to me, and Alex said no fucking way. Do you plan to ask anyone else? Well, yeah, I got to fill the table with nine. So if you say no, I'll try to find someone. Okay. Um, well, 
like I said, my uh, assets are all tied up in uh, crypto right now. So right, no, not very sure. liquid, unfortunately. Yeah, 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 you understand, right? I get how it is out there in those in those crypto street. It ain't easy. Yeah, no, it's um, I can't I can't sell it. I'm holding holding because it's gonna it's gonna go up, you know. Mm -hmm. And then you'd lose yeah. out on sweet gains, which why would you do that? Yeah, exactly. I don't mm -hmm. want to lose out on on the gains. Makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. All right. Well, hey, you know, I, I I'll, then I'll leave it. I'll leave it at that. Um, I'll leave it at that. A toast. But you know, I appreciate I appreciate you getting back to me. Yeah. Uh, when are we gonna go rock climbing? We could do it next week. Next week. Yeah. Can Lily come? Yeah, Can Lily and Michael come? Mmm, Lily and Michael. Yeah. Yeah, of course. I like both Lily and Michael. Okay, yeah, both of you can come. All right, they'll be there too. All right. Okay, actually, never mind. Uh, Michael said no. What? Because he doesn't want to hurt uh, himself. I'm, I'm getting conflict in reports. They they say they have to have a discussion about this because it's like a group decision between the two of them. <laughs> okay. All right. That's fair enough. Is it, what, what's is there something I could help in aiding their decision? Uh, is there anything he can do to make the decision easier? Oh yeah, cash. Uh, uh cash. If they get paid to come, they will. They'll come. <laughs> is this, is this they ask They're to come rock if this climbing. This is for fun or for stream uh for streaming. It can like, be either. Uh, it can be either. But what was it initially? What was it initially? Well, for content toast, because you said you don't like doing things that are for fun. Uh, he says for content because he doesn't like doing things for That's fun. Not, no, you don't. Okay. No, you say, Okay. Remember that? Okay. Michael didn't like that answer, so... <laughs> we're gonna that have was, a, toast, that was your answer. He's honestly kind of... Never mind. Michael actually likes the idea now that what? it's content. The, that is so flip floppy of him. Yeah, he he likes rock climbing. So um, it was my idea, by the way, Michael, not Ludwig's. Thank you. It was a good idea. All right, uh, we'll okay. see you uh, next week then. If he said it's a good idea, can you tell him it was actually my idea? But it was. My, you literally said on stream that I it know, was but, my. But idea. but then I would I would seem cooler. Okay, you're not. You're. Not, I would seem cooler if he thought the idea was good. Like that ship has sailed already. Okay. No, that's a good point. Yeah, it's my bad. Okay. All right. All right. Well, hey, next week uh, we'll we'll schedule it. My 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 people will talk. Well, I'll just talk to you. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see you next week. All right. All right. Bye, toast. Bye bye. Okay. Great. Jarma, Jarma nine eight five. Would Jarma want to play? Hey, I'll get back to you on the Elden Ring um stream. Quick question. And feel free to say no, but do you want to play poker this Sunday? It's in person in LA with Mr. Beast, XQC, Phil Helmuth, and others. I ignored slime there, my bad. And slime. Um, the only catch is it is a $100,000 buy-in. And then I'm going to put grimacing emoji you down question mark ksi would be sick pewdiepie would be sick okay chat today let's um how do we do this um sorry let's i'm just gonna i'm gonna pull something up for you guys i think this will oh, help a lot of you guys okay so we're at wednesday right there's thursday and there's friday and then there's saturday they would have to fly in from europe in only uh-oh three days Which is a big ask. So I think it's pretty tough to get somebody from, from Europe here. Soda popping. I don't know if soda would do it. He doesn't like leaving his home that much. Especially on weekends. I'm pretty sure Hassan does not gamble like that. <sighs> let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. 
Nate shot might do it. I don't think Schlatt gambles like that either. I'm pretty sure Schlatt does not gamble like that. Saikuno definitely would not do that. Neither would Ray. Train lives in Canada. It's a pain in the ass across borders and stuff. Gaswell lives in, like, Canada. Miz said he couldn't. T Pain. I'm going to add him as a friend. Your friend request failed. Okay, I don't think I can ask T Pain. Mango would be down. I don't think Mango's down to do a $100,000 cash game. That's just my guess, though. Could be wrong. Use your shroud hour. I don't think the hour includes him spending 100k. <laughs> I don't. I don't think. I don't think I can do both. Yeah, we have a new venue for it. Atriot got money from Twitter. I mean, I can fucking ask him. I'll ask him. He's at work, but is he working? You know what I mean? Think about it. Not too hard. Oh, wait, did he just answer? I can't tell if he just answered or if I'm calling him twice like an asshole. Ask Johnny Depp something about it. Something about it in my head makes me think he's busy. Don't know why, just think he might be busy. Thank you, Tiago Schmidt. Ms. Kiff. We talked about this. Cody Co. I don't think Cody gambles that much, does he? Does he gamble that much? Magnus Carlson. It's kind of a big ask. It's a three-day turnaround flight. Alpharad loves to gamble. Does he? Susan Wojcicki. <laughs> Suze. Come on down, brother. Steve will do it. Who the fuck is Steve? And how do you know he'd do it? I don't think Mango's down is my is my guess, my gut, my my call. I think, oh, I wonder if Blau would do it or one of the lean gang. They do love gambling. Cody Ko is a huge gambler. 
All right, I'll DM Cody Co. Cody, I heard you're a huge gambler. Is this true? I asked Cody. I asked Cody. Tarek is not a big gambler. I don't believe that. I just don't believe that. Pokey's definitely not a big gambler. I think she'd be against doing a gambling stream, even if it was poker. Y you know what I've realized? You guys are bad at picking people. What's his clip? Okay, suburb outside of Quebec City. Fair enough. About to get roasted because it's in my own country. People don't have a, a sense of how large Canada is, and that's Yo, are, okay. Aren't you Canadian? Yeah, yeah I know it was coming. <laughs> okay, suburb outside of Quebec City. Fair enough. About to get roasted because it's in my own country. People don't have a, a <laughs> sense of how large Canada is, and that's Yo, are, okay. Aren't you Canadian? Yeah, yeah I know it was coming. Uh, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. Should make that. Try Charlie again. I mean, look, he saw that I called him. He's not dumb. But I think I've asked too many people if I ask any more. And then the other people who I've asked get back to me. Then I'll have more than enough people. And then I'll have to be like, oh, sorry that I asked you. Now I'm just kidding. It's never mind. Goodbye now. See you later. And that's awkward. And so I don't want to have that conversation. So I'm going to stop asking people, even though we've asked a good amount of people right now. And they haven't all replied. But eventually they'll reply. You know, that's okay. Chat, is this the most viewers XQC's ever had? And stuff. You, you kind of just plop it wherever. Yeah, I usually put it in, on like flanks and I improvise the middle fights. Yeah, that's pretty much what you have to do because that's just going to die easy as fuck. Yeah. I have a voice. I think this is XQC's peak viewership ever today. How is he not dead? Wait, what the fuck? My shit oh, is Oh, one glitched. hit, one hit. Arisa. That's crazy. Damn. That's how good drops are. Right, right right I'm, okay. I'm, I'm dead, I'm dead. Ooh, you're not dead. You're, you're being chilling. He had 400k? When? The Wait, R play streams? No, he didn't. Me. Oh my god, they really nerfed. Oh, this is not fair. Weird. The French guy did. He had 293 today. Yeah, that's his peak then. It's kind of hype. Didn't he have more around the Valorant drops? No. During the first Rust server, he had 300k. Okay, you guys are fucking making up stats. I don't know why you guys make up stats and pretend to know anything about anything in the fucking Twitch world, but goddamn, let's look right here. Peak viewership. Here's the fucking number to look at. You done pieces of shit. 2017, 2018, 81K. 2019, peak viewership. Oh, no, excuse me. That was the same year. 2020, 222K. Okay, 2020, 2021. Oh, 125K. went down. Okay, January of this year, 145. February of this year, 131. Uh, March of this year, 121. Okay, let's do past 30 days. Okay, this is the R, the R place. It looks like the peak was 274. Okay, let's check his viewership right now. 285. So why are you still talking to me? Hearsay. <laughs> Hearsay. Hearsay, Teehee. Did you guys see the Twitter thing or the Twitch thing, by the way? I'm going to end streaming a bit here, but... That Twitch thing? There's no way. Can't believe Elon added this already. Hold T and like. Did I just get baited into liking something? That. Fucking hate 
I fucking hate Hungry Box. I'm fucking. I'm fucking. I can't believe he fucking did that to me. I can't believe I just got fucking owned. In the marketplace of ideas, I got fucking owned. Did you guys see this thing? This is the brand new uh, the th the talk of the town um, for Twitch today, which was a Bloomberg article about how Twitch is considering changes to its partner program. Currently, discussed ideas not finalized. Incentive uh, incentives for more ads, new revenue splits, seventy percent to fifty percent, new tiers system, no more exclusivity. In and it could be implemented this summer. Uh, everybody, I think everybody shit on this. No one hates Twitch as much as Twitch streamers. Uh, no one hates Twitch streamers as much as Twitch. What a joke. It makes everything worse except for Twitch themselves. Boys, it's official. The Tubnet funds are gone. No exclusivities way overdue. Good to see that. A majority of ad revenue should always go to the creators, though. I'd see uh, expand to other video formats. Everyone disliked that. I wasn't given the 70% split anyway. I feel like everyone's being overly negative about it. Because I, the only part of this that's bad is this, right? Like, everything else is fine, right? Incentives for more ads is not a bad thing. It doesn't mean more ads. It means incentives for more ads. So it's still the onus of the creator. New tier system, I don't know what the fuck that means. It's fine. No more exclusivity is good. But this isn't new. Unless they're they're taking everyone who's grandfathered into 70% and making them 50%, which I don't think was outlined in the article. This is it was it was always 50%. 70% is is like they got rid of that 2 years ago. They are doing that. Where does it say that? Hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, Cypher Worm is on trial right now. He said they are doing that where they're removing everyone's grandfathered 70% and making it 50%. So I'm going to read the article. I'm going to double check. And if it says that, then you are right. And if it doesn't say that, you are wrong. And I will ban you for misinformation. Do you agree to the terms? You don't get to decide. Okay. Twitch Drive is considering powering back the revenue cut of channel subscriptions granted to the top echelon of streamers. He's right. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I think it is bad then. He won it real quick. That would be fucked up. Give him something. His life. Uh, you know what I'll give him? You were right. Uh, IMO Twitch should just implement ads that don't directly interfere with the stream. Yeah, that makes sense. The, the problem is fucking Twitch just loses so much money. Uh, look, this is for a mogul mail. It's for a mogul mail anyway. Atriok asked if you called. Wait, how the fuck do you know that he did that? Yo. Yo, did you call? Yeah, I did. What's good? Question for you. What I'm live. Good? Okay. Uh, You want to play a little poker this Sunday? I would love to. All right, cool. It's going to be live. Uh, it's at a casino in LA. I'll give you the address. I think it's Mr. Beast, Slime, myself, XQC, Phil Helmuth. Oh, Jimmy's going to be there? No, actually, I'm not. It sounds like I'm memeing, but I'm serious. No, just me and Jimmy got beef, you know. So I don't know if I can show. Why do you have beef with Jimmy? Did he cheat in something? 
<laughs> then I'd be on his side. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh... <laughs> okay. You're doing the slime thing where you end a scream. Sorry, it's for Zoomers, saying? dude. It's Zoomer appealing. What were you saying? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll be there for sure. That sounds fun. Thanks for uh, It's a hundred k buy-in, by the way. <laughs> oh, you mean chump change? Yeah, yeah I, I figured it's chump change, so I was gonna just add it at the end yeah, to the addendum. Chump change, not a big deal. I'll send you the wiring instructions. Easy clap. Just do a subathon starting today. Uh, Pretend it's all for charity. Pretend I'm paying my mods. Love Take that. It off of sounds familiar, actually. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so lock you in for it. Yeah, lock me in. Yeah, the 100K is serious, by the way. Uh, <laughs> yeah. so I actually I cannot the, like, put up $100,000 to play poker on Sunday. If that's your being serious, then I'm not in. <laughs> I am very serious about the 100K. Ari would obviously not. No, I can't do it. I mean, you don't. <laughs> if if lose that's it. true, did you really just call me so you could ask me to go with thing with Mr. Beast and then poor shame me for not having $100,000? Slime's doing it. Slime is not putting up a hundred racks of his own money. Yeah, I'm putting it in a forum, but he's still doing it. Like. <laughs> no way. I, I would do a 10K because it would right. be cool. To, I, I can't I can't put up $100,000. Here's be, the like, thing. You're saying it like you're going to lose so it. so mad at me. You're if not. If I did lose it, it would be. It, that was, that's like. That, <laughs> that's just, a canceled wedding, bro. It's just, <laughs> just don't lose it. I don't know. Like you're being weird about it. I would be sitting there folding for fucking three hours. <laughs> you pay more to the IRS. Like you could, you could win. I did. I did pay more to the IRS, which is fucking crazy. But that's why I, I just did that. I don't want to put another hundred thousand dollars and give it to Mister Beast, right. Mister Bean himself. You think so Mister Bean on takes your Beast money? Burger. Mister, hey, you, you beat him. You beat him in the marketplace of ideas. It's not a debate. It's whoever gets good cards. <laughs> I mean, that's. That's how haters think about it, I guess. So I'll lock you, you for a maybe then. How'd you do yesterday? How'd you do if you're still if you're god like a poker? How'd you do? I got I mean, a that bit was... unlucky. <laughs> I got a bit unlucky, I guess. So there right. was luck. There was a well, I lost 7,000, but like that was different because it was. <laughs> right. And what was I, the buy in yesterday? It was seven. It was 5,000. It was 5,000. So you lost more than the buy in. So if well, the buy in was okay. 100,000, you'd lose 120,000. Oh, numbers. <laughs> beep, 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 boop, boop. Fucking robot over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't. That's my. <laughs> that's awesome. uh, right. Yeah, uh, I don't play good unless it's 50K plus anyway. It's kind of I've thing. heard that about you. I have definitely heard that about you. Uh, so I'll lock you in for it then, and I will see you Sunday. Doesn't uh, Mango owe you some money? Just give use that money on me, and I'll, I'll buy in. Uh, yeah. Would you actually do it if I gave you 9K? <laughs> 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 and then you cover the other 91? <laughs> Uh, let's see if Stan's owes money. Let's see if we can add it all up. Yeah. Hey, I got a one thirty. I gotta go, but I'm. I'll talk to you about it. If you're if you're interested, I can't put up hundred k, so we'll have to figure something out. If all I'm, right. And, but if not, it's not a big deal. All right. All right. Peace. All right. Peace. Broke talk, huh? Whew. What happened to that guy? Fell off. It's what happens. That's what happens when Twitch does some pay cuts. You know. It's the little guys that get hurt. Like Atrioc. Not like a small streamer. He's actually a big streamer. Like. Physically condensed, small human. Asmund Gold would not leave his house for anything, much less me. I'll figure it out, boys. I'll figure it out. We got some time to go. All right. I'm going to head out, boys. We did four hours today. I have not eaten food yet. Have I missed the trial? Yeah, you missed the trial. Nothing major happened today. It was the agent for Johnny Depp, and they just tried to prove that Johnny Depp's reputation was ruined. Which is part of a defamation case. They did it with middling success. And then they also had one security guard who said that Amber Heard did not have bruises on her face. That's about it. 
I'm going to head out, boys. I'm going to head out. Oh. That's pretty much all that happened in six hours. Uh, Friday, tomorrow, is not Friday. Friday, we are doing Bro vs. Bro against Jay Schlatt. And we are going to be doing the war of our Elden Ring viewers versus Jerma's Elden Ring viewers. So tomorrow, I'm going to probably play Elden Ring and try to get five warriors from chat. So if you guys want to do that, then I'll see you there tomorrow. I watched the NL clip. I'll stream tomorrow. We're probably going to have to find the warriors. Maybe I'll do a bit of trial stuff depending who's on the, uh, the table. Or maybe I'll just recap it at the end. I don't know. All right, boys. Thank you for watching, though. I appreciate it. Wizard 101 Wednesday today. You lied. This counts. This counts. Thanks for watching, boys. New YouTube video will be uploaded later on Mogul Mail and the main channel. Have a good one. I'll do the wizard shit next week.